Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. And uh, special guest, Deacon. Oh, it's very special. What's up? How y'all been? Uh, we're good. Thanks for coming in on a uh, on an auspicious <laughs> episode. Uh, uh, I do what I can when I can for the people. You uh, you may be wondering where Terrence is. The, no, we're not. The film that we're about to do literally made Terrence sick. <laughs> <laughs> And he couldn't be here today. It gave him the flu directly through Netflix. Oh, it gave man. him influenza. Damn, Which I think is a really uh, interesting thing that Netflix is doing. smell o vision <laughs> <laughs> That was polio. <laughs> Both. Why not? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is something else. Uh, this is episode 166, A Fall from Grace, newly released on Netflix. Um, this is Tyler Perry's uh, latest film, uh, written, directed... Um, <clears throat> Uh, and co-starring him, uh, and of course this is uh, from Tyler Perry Studios. What I will say first, before we even get started and think about our scores and everything else, <laughs> is um, I do think it's interesting that this is his first direct release to Netflix instead of going theater. Right, this is his first uh, yeah. you know major movie that he hasn't done directly to theater. So that's kind of an interesting choice, and I, I do want to talk about that at some point. Um, Again, it's on Netflix, so this is a review of the movie, a uh, long-form review. Uh, so if you want to watch the movie, you know, get yeah, get your cousin's Netflix uh, account or whatever, <laughs> however you get it. Um, this movie is starring Crystal Fox, Felicia Rashad, uh, Brescia Webb. Uh, Cicely- Baltimore's own. Oh, we got one? Brescia Webb. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, Cicely Tyson and, of course, Tyler Perry. Uh, this is a movie that follows a woman who finds uh, a dangerous new love. Um, yo, how, wait, how did they not put uh, McCad Brooks yeah. in the starring list? That's okay, Wikipedia. I mean, he Check. makes the movie. Yeah, so. I would argue. <laughs> he should get top billing. I, I would argue. Uh, and then an ashtray is number two. Um, and then wigs number three. Uh, so, so, okay. None of us had obviously seen this beforehand um, uh, because it just came out. We will start with uh, our special guest. What did you think of this movie? <laughs> it was terrible. Um, but I, it's gotten to the point where I'm, well, I already know what to expect from Tyler. Yeah. So it is what it is. Um, it's, I'm trying to think. All right. I've seen way worse, but as it doesn't mean this is not bad. This is just bad for laughs. What makes it so bad is the fact I don't think they went into it intentionally to get the laughs out of it. They could, it's no, it's no way. Oh, it's the best type of bad movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they could have yeah. went in there thinking like, all right, like we know this part is funny. They're probably thinking they're doing some dramatic shit, and no, it's just coming off like fucking hilarity. Um, but yeah, no, nah, it's it's bad. It's just a overall. Yeah, I can't, I can't call it. This is watch it one time and I'm done. This is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. <laughs> it, it is. It is so. It's a thriller. It, it, sure. <laughs> it is so bad. I was thrilled. <laughs> it is so bad. It's not like so bad. It's good, but it's so bad. Like like this is this is what you show film students to tell them what not to do. You know what I mean? Like that, yeah, it feels that way. Like this is a cautionary tale. Yes, this is this is a PSA to film students. Like, don't do this. Industrial video. D- don't don't do this. You see this? Everything that you see on here, everything that you hear, every and, and like, don't do it. And and this 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 movie is the worst. Is this the worst Tyler Perry movie? I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. They're in a class of their yeah, own. I can't like even, even measure the stick at that point. No, I'm saying, is it the worst of uh, of, of his? Of I his? don't know. Yeah, because I feel like there there are two there are two tiers of Tyler Perry movies, right? There's the Medea movies, which are largely just comedies, right? Not not the early stuff that she showed right. up. Not like Diary of a Mad Black Woman, which is right. supposed to be taken seriously, which I think is a horrendous movie anyway. Mm-hmm. But um, but like Medea's witness protection or Medea's right. boo Halloween, those are like legitimately him. His attempt at comedies. I don't watch those movies, so I can't judge them. They look bad, but I I, I can't offer a hard review of them. Uh, 
But there's those, but then there's like Temptations, Diary of a Marriage Counselor, whatever that one's called. Yeah. Uh, Acrimony. Like the movies where he's trying to make a real movie. Right. Like a thriller <laughs> or something like that. This clearly is in that camp. So I guess. He has 11 movies that don't star Medea. Okay, what are those movies? Do you have a list? Daddy's Little Girls. I've never seen that. Why Did I Get Married? I've seen that one. I actually like that one. That's the one I do like. Meet the Browns, which I think is, uh, is that the television show? No. No, that's Meet the Pains. It is, is, yeah. Meet the Browns, which is a a, a movie. The Family That Prays. We saw that one. That was bad. Why Did I Get Married 2? That was not as good as the first. For Colored Girls. I haven't seen that. Good good Deeds. I've not seen that. Temptation, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor, The Single Moms Club. I haven't seen that one. Acrimony, Nobody's yeah. Fool. I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's a Tiffany Haddish vehicle. Oh, that's a new. That's relatively new. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no. okay. 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 And a fall from grace. Of the ones I've seen, <clears throat> I would argue this is the worst. Maybe that was- and acrimony is pretty bad. Acrimony is trash. You know? like, <laughs> and I hate describing man. movies with like one word like that. Yeah, but it's, like, it's garbage. Yeah. Like it's between acrimony and this. And I, I think the production think, value is better in acrimony, which is amazing. Yeah, because like at least with a fall from grace, he shot outside. He did. But at the same time, right? Like, like if I'm if I'm taking in everything, right? If I'm taking in the acting performances, the characterization of women in the movies, yeah, we talk about. I that. think a fall from grace is worse. I think that is correct. <laughs> God damn it, man! <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like Acrimony never had a scene in it where I was like, "This looks like it was shot by a high schooler." <laughs> like, there is a scene which we'll get to at some point in the movie. Where it's Tyler Perry's character and um and the the main prosecutor's uh, character um, Jasmine, Jasmine. Yeah. they're standing outside of a room. It's like when they come out of the interrogation room when they're talking to Grace, and they're standing outside of the room. It literally looks like it was shot on a phone. Yeah, like by high schoolers, and I'm I, not even saying I, that to I, just be mean. It legitimately looks very poor quality. I actually found no problem with the production value. It was high quality production value all around. As an actor, I mean, are you um, just saying these things so that you can be starring in in, in a, a Fall from Grace too? Yeah, yeah. matter of fact, but give me that damn Black Panther mask. Before I go <laughs> yeah. on. You fuck up your whole career. <laughs> I, 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 I need to insulate myself real quick. Oh man. Too, a set, continuous fall from grace. From, from set design to wardrobe. Set design. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. I think there was only one set. That's I think there was only true. I think there was only one big ass room. Not even big ass room. One room. And they put in like fake drywall or whatever yeah. to just kind of make Sliding it. Sliding walls. They, yeah, to just make it what they needed to make it. Right? I've never seen a courtroom so small. Yo, that courtroom, <laughs> that the gallery was packed. I mean, it was a bunch of the whole cast and crew was there <laughs> patched into that gallery. That's the new style these days. Nah, yo. Nah. Minimalism. Somebody with <laughs> his... <laughs> it's, extended, it's extended on to the, out to the judiciary area. Somebody <laughs> somebody with his resources. Like, it's He's insulting. Okay, wait, right, it's yo. insulting my thing. for somebody with his resources to, 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 to be proud about shooting, writing and shooting a film in less than a month. All right. Five days. Wait, wait, in me, less than a week. Let me pick it up. Hold on a second. Okay. As somebody in our fan group said, uh, I won't I, I won't get on his last name, but uh, Gaston said in our fan group, he was like, yo, don't shoot a movie in a work week. <laughs> right. <laughs> yo, yo, take the weekend. And, like this this new thing that he's doing of like, mm-hmm. I can make a movie in a week, that's actually not a good thing when you make bad movies. It's impressive no. if you're coming out with like a Steve Soderbergh level film. You're like, wow, yeah, that's no, incredible. You know, it's I not mean, impressive with somebody with that amount of resources and money and that's ability for talent to be able to be like, oh, I can do this in a week. No, yo, that's yeah, not. Why are you rushing? Not impressive. It. Like, why? Are you, what's the rush? I mean, the first point for me is like, all right, the five, the, the filming in five days things. That's fine if you're trying to if you're in film school. And right. Things like that. Where they have little cars right, like that. Or, like, I've been in a couple like it's like I've been in one was like forty eight. Yeah, we wanted to do. Yeah, we wanted yeah. to do one shit of like that. Yeah. That makes no sense. But I've come to this realization. I really think he's gotten to the point where he's accept. 
he's fine with making these mediocre to bad movies. And it makes no sense because, one, he has his own studio. A huge he, studio. He has a, he has a modicum of talent. He's not talentless. He has some talent. He does. And that's absolutely. not to say he can't. I you know he doesn't hire other writers, but it's not to say he can't surround himself with like a brain trust of writers to kind of flourish that um, the writing department. He has everything in his power to make the best possible product possibly. And he is not, he just chooses to say, you know what? This is my lane. I'm fine with making mediocre to shitty movies because I have my audience. They're going to support me regardless. Yeah. Like, that to me, and that, that, that's fucked up. But it, it is. That's how, it, I, that's how I feel about right You know what it is? It's, it's the, it's the line from a spook who sat by the door. Gentlemen see for everybody, right? Mm. There is no desire to elevate your craft. Mm. Like, again, we all make fun of Tyler Perry because the movies aren't that great. But there's never what is so irritating is you do have talent. Right. It's not like you're just some guy and you're like, yo, all right, like, whatever. He ain't making pug love or whatever, or plug love or whatever nonsense that they put on Amazon. <laughs> that these movies are just bad. And it's just like, it feels like people are just trying to like, eat, whether they have talent or not, like this is their first thing and they're just right. like really starting out. Yo, you have... You made all, it. You you've made it. You have like twenty movies under your belt. Yeah. At some point, you were, you should be trying to elevate the craft, your craft, and it doesn't right. seem like he is. And is and like you said, he seems to be very okay with making very mediocre to bad movies because right. his audience will be there. That money will be there. Right. And it and it to me, it's insulting to his movies are insulting to black women specifically. Mm. I mean. I don't. I don't understand how it took all the way to 2020 before there is a large internet conversation about the fact that he is doing nothing but but delving in poorly. By the way, right. into black women suffering in every one of his movies. That is his go-to standard. I just do not understand how now people are like, "Hey, did you notice?" Yeah, well, we know yo, we've been saying that shit ago. forever, yo. We've yo. been saying that shit forever. We've been saying that black women should probably be offended by their portrayal in these movies that they go see directed by him. Don't be but mansplaining. He did, uh, right, but you can't say that now, right? But <laughs> right. no, I'm sorry. Be no, offended, we were yo. yeah, be we offended. were well ahead of that curve, <laughs> yo. Well ahead. Look, 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 this is from uh, this is from uh, Revolt TV. Uh, Tyler Perry has denied that he is exploiting black women suffering in. In his film, the filmmaker spoke on the accusation at the premiere of his latest film, A Fall from Grace. According to page six, Perry said that his exploration of women's pain stems from his mother being abused by his father. Quote, I am always trying to send a message that you don't have to deal with this shit. Mm. He added, it's not about making money off of off of women's pain. Uh, it's about telling a story, and I wish that people, especially black women, would get off the fact of saying, oh, he's just making money off of black women. But here's the thing. If it's just about telling a story, you can tell a different type of story. Yeah. Uh, Why it, is it, it always it, black women being beaten on or abused, or abused or, or, in some or, way? I don't understand. Mentally and or physically. I mean... I guess that's the only... Plus of this movie is there isn't a direct, at least in the main character, there isn't a direct physical violence against yeah, her, which is a shock to me. But the level yeah, of yeah, the yeah. level of torment that she's gets put through it is pretty. Yeah, it's pretty it's, close. I mean, it might as well be. Yeah, I don't know. Um, like I said, and this twist was fucking terrible. Yeah, I said, you yeah, got, I, yeah. got all the talent in the world, all the, all the fucking resources now. It's really no reason to keep. Fucking low ball. It's, it's really no reason to be hang, going for hang, low hanging fruit all the goddamn time. Right. There are other things you can talk yeah, about. Yeah. But unfortunately, I mean, I thought we'd probably get to this conversation again later, but the pushback is still, it has always been when you criticize, oh, well, we're just trying to bring a black man down. You don't see white people doing this. Was, no, yes, they do. Like, this is crabs in the barrel mentality shit. I'm like, yo, stop. Yeah, I think that's yeah. overly simplistic, but like. It's way overly simplistic. Like, I. My whole thing with Tyler Perry is one, I don't enjoy his movies. I don't think they're very good. Yeah. I, I've enjoyed one of them. Like like flat out really enjoyed uh Why Did I Get Married? I just think it that is like a solid lane that yeah. I think that he should stay in. That could be about surprise. I was like, I don't see this bullshit. Like, oh damn, I fucking like Like it. I had a good time yeah. with it. It was it was good, you know, messaging I thought was was perfectly fine. But if you're gonna stay in your lane, stay in your lane and do really well. Yeah. He seems to stay in a lane and do really badly, which I'm like, pick a new lane. Then. He's like the Roger Corman of black people and shit. <laughs> I mean, but he's not even like, he's not even like switching lanes. Like he, he like, doesn't. He's he doesn't. just, it's, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. 
Now, at the same time, look, we're going to have a blast with this movie. Yeah, look, <laughs> we, so look, we're talking all this shit. We watched it. So, uh, you know. Hypocrisy is overrated. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, you know, like, he's not free from criticism. Just no. because he employs black people, uh, you know, right. uh, not behind the camera, but in front of the camera. Uh, you know, also to to that point, work ethic. The, the, that nigga quote. That nigga cited work ethic as the reason for not having a writer's room. Yeah, look, I wrote all these. I wrote all my films in 2019 by myself. Truth be told, truth be told, I don't have a problem with him being that. You don't have to hire people if you don't want to. That's, that's on him. No, but again, he needs if you, to. If, you, if you're not going to do it, crank out some good shit. Yeah, there there's plenty of people who don't have co-writers. Yeah, that's your choice. But you, you are not one yeah. of them. You are not you one of them. You can tell. I mean, yeah, you're right. He don't have to hire him. Yeah, but, that's and his you choice. Can t- and you can tell, man. You can yeah. tell. Because, yeah. God damn, this shit is... <laughs> this movie with a proper writer's room probably could have been all right. It probably could have been actually rather surprising. Let me out. You sure? Yeah. It's about to rain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> The yeah, you know, the other part of this movie that drives me well, you know what? We'll get to it. This There's... nigga screams about work ethic, and all weekend the only thing people have been doing is pointing out continuity errors. Yeah. If you have work ethic, you would you would sew that shit up. You would make sure that 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 your film is as tight as it can be. Yep. Yeah. All right, yo. Continuity, schmontinuity. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Shit making sense is overrated. Right. Yeah. Niggas, don't, niggas don't know about continuity. What are you talking oh, about, damn, man? Damn, yo. I, I don't know. I just find it, I find his lack of giving a shit to be really insulting <laughs> to us. Uh, not us yeah. personally, but us as black people. I, I just do. I find that insulting. Because yeah. it's just, here. here's a bunch of garbage. I'm going to serve it onto a plate. You'll lap it up because you're black. Yeah. I mean, And, and I'm just and, not, I refuse to do that. And, and even though I made the ride know a lot of his work at this point, the one thing I do give him credit for, like, he built a niche that was needed. You know, most movies sure, were typically, you know, PG-13, R-rated. So you couldn't have a family type of thing. You couldn't take grandma, shit like that. So his movies gave them a base, especially in particular the church crowd, base where they can go have um, a good family time and get good messages. That's dope. But still, you can still elevate the craft and, like, do some dope-ass work at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and again, one of the things that bothers me the most is that he is considered the most known black director. And there are the most prolific. God right. Damn. I mean, if you think about it, if you ask a white person what who name three black directors, it's going to be Tyler Perry. They might name Spike Lee, they might and say, then, they might say Medea. Shit. Yeah, but like they're not gonna they're not gonna have a third, which is ridiculous. They'll name an actor, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> has Denzel Washington directed anything? No, like not he gonna, should. Shit. I mean, he <laughs> has, but yes, well, that's true. But um, but like that that to me says a lot. So you do have a level of responsibility for black film because right. you are one of the bigger names. So, though I think people like you know. Barry Jenkins should be mentioned, but that's just me. Um, all right, let's get into it. So yeah, this uh, look, this film is wholeheartedly a comedy. It, it is, <laughs> and um, that's funny. It doesn't. It doesn't claim to be, and neither does the next movie that we're doing. But I think both of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is a comedy, and, and and it starts off with some very macabre humor. You see, it starts off <laughs> with a woman. Committing suicide. A white woman. A white woman committing suicide, probably <laughs> named Grace, <laughs> committing suicide oh. by falling to her death. Mm. Um, and the film is titled A Fall from Grace. Um, you see this white woman and she's like, oh, she's an older white woman. And I, I, I say that because it plays into uh, the, the plot of the movie. And um, you see uh, you see this this fourth member of the barge. Who is a cop? <laughs> this nigga's the worst yo, cop of all time, yo. He's the worst cop. You see Jordan DeBarge, and he's he's just a beat cop, right? But all of a sudden, he has to play like you know negotiator, crisis management, right? right? <laughs> and this woman is like, I don't know what to do, and he's like, I'm pretty and light skinned. Look at me, just look at me. I'm pretty and light skinned. If you look at my pretty light skinnedness, then then you you'll come in. She's like, I don't want to look at your pretty light skinnedness, and then she jumps. Off, right? Well, they, they, I bet you he's for a DeBarge, some reason, I, be, I bet you he's a divorce. I bullshit you not. Uh, I, I mean, little known fact: all light skinned guys with curly hair somehow tangentially related yeah, pretty much. Uh, to the DeBarge family. Um, here's the problem with this scene: 
They put a chopper light on her, and he's like, get that chopper out of here. And that's what she's like, ah, oh, the light. And she was just like, <laughs> and she fucking jumped. <laughs> but, yo, she jumped from, like, the second floor. Yeah, that, like, <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm like, it's not bad. I'm not in the knee. No, she, be, like, blowing knee out. Right. Shit. Like, so, okay, a little bit of background here. One, I am not feeling well. I, I am very much... Um, Sick. I am day quilled the fuck up for this. Okay, so you one, you're welcome. Two, I watched this with my wife and my niece, my niece who had never seen a Tyler Perry movie before. Because she, you know, she's not black. This is like not in her fucking wheelhouse at all. Bless child. And yeah, I was like, we about to fuck your whole life up. Like she's in college, and I was like, all right, we're gonna watch this movie. Yo, know, and she's very smart, and she's watching. She's like. Yo, none of this makes any sense. Like, none of this. Like, the whole time, she's, like, yelling at the screen. I was like, welcome. <laughs> it's a black experience. She's like, yo, what is going on? I'm like, yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, that, that phone was that phone. <laughs> yo, she would have just hurt her knee. Like, ow, oh, my hip. Like, right. <laughs> no, she died. Apparently, she landed on the top of her head. Not to change out her pocket. That's probably <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> just drop a bunch of rings like Sonic. Oh, shit. Butter, butterscotch candy. <laughs> My word, there's somebody pick them up. Next, oh. we meet uh, Jasmine, Jordan's wife. Jordan DeBarge is the name of the cop. And now we meet, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and now we meet Jasmine uh, Bryant, uh, his wife. We see her going off to work at the public defender's office. And uh, she's told by her boss, Rory, played by Tyler Perry, all right, look, before we continue, <laughs> before we continue, let's go. I don't, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of jokes are made about wigs in Dollar Perry movies. <laughs> <laughs> this might be one of the worst. This might be one of the worst. All right, hold up, hold up. I have nah. a legitimate question. That he has worn. Oh, okay. okay. He's worn, okay. That yeah. he has worn. No, yep. d- agree to disagree. No, because he wore one in like. One of the how did I get married or why did I get married movies is pretty bad. Oh no, the the family that prays. Yeah, that's the yeah, one. that's the yeah. one with the barbershop clippings just glued to his head. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the worst one. Like, yo, come on. He's like, now sweep those up. I I, I right. need those for a shoot. Right. This one at least looks like a like yeah. a used Brillo pad, just like a bunch of them glued together. <laughs> you look like you look like Leonard Washington and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want this roll? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like first off, bitch, I kid you. Um, yo, the shit looks like a helmet, yo. It like does. the way the way that it's There's shaped definitely and a chin strap underneath the, yeah, the man. beard. It looks like, like a helmet. helmet. And this is what we go back to. You don't have to do this. You have yeah, all you don't the have, goddamn yo, resources. You don't, you don't have to Get wear a wig, yo. Like I don't know. Like, oh, yeah, why why no, does no. he have to wear a wig? No, wait a wig. Wait, no, that's fine. He want to get in the character. Cool, that's fine. Just make this. You got the money to get the good shit. Nah, yeah, but it's not like people don't. Well, I I gotta disappear into this role, so let me put this wig He's on. Method. No one will recognize me now. <laughs> yes, written, directed, starring Tyler Perry. <laughs> but okay, but, but here's back. the thing. Line right. I know people make fun of the wigs, and we will continue to do so. <laughs> you don't you worry. <laughs> oh boy, no, it's just, not the, the worst be- wig in the movie. No, it's not even yeah, not even man. close. Jeez. So I know people make fun of the wigs, and I understand why because for obvious reasons. But I, I like to posit a question. I think the bad wigs are on purpose. I think that's his thing. I think, it, I think bad wigs are his. And they'll go with me for a second. I think those are his Spike Lee dolly shot. Those are his uh, John Woo doves. Yes, I think the bad. I think those are. I think those are. I think that's what it is. Right. I think those are his. Um, that's his exploitation boom mic. Like right. Like that's his I, signature. Huh? That's his right. signature. That that is you know like that's what he does. You know, that's his Kubrick close, close shot, yeah. right? Like, the look more intense. The bad wigs are the Tyler Perry, like, that is his, like, his signature that he puts onto the film. He God is an damn. auteur. This is his move. Yeah, yeah. Um, respect it. You gotta respect it. So Jasmine... <laughs> you don't. You don't actually. <laughs> Jasmine is a public defender, and she's going to work, and uh, she hears over the radio that there's this big case, the, the Grace Waters case, where... Grace Waters is this woman who uh, is char- accused and charged of murdering her husband, right? So she gets to uh, the public defender's office, and her boss, Tyler Perry, whose name is Rory in uh, in the film, he says that she he is giving the Grace Waters case to Jasmine. And look, Jasmine oh. is a rookie, right? Jasmine doesn't know. Ja- Jasmine is like fresh out of law school, and she doesn't yeah. really know much about. I'm about to say public defenders don't make that much, do they? No, they do not. No, they don't. No, public defenders generally do 
get into public defense for the social justice of it for right. the for the mm. cause for the for the 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 you know they have a a need to want to help people right uh not jasmine no, yeah. not Jasmine, not at all. Jasmine is like, yo, I thought when I got this public defender job, I was on easy street. Yeah, yo, I, I was trying to figure out where they found a fucking trousseau. <laughs> 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 like, oh, <damn. laughs> yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. little a public defender makes it. She's driving like a 1992 Tercel in <laughs> 2020. <laughs> God damn. So, all right. Yes, all of that is true about being a public defender. <clears throat> what I think is hilarious is, like, the you know they're basically like, look, we need you to go down and plead this, just have her, you know, plead guilty. Right. Do you need a public defender even for that? I uh, feel like you don't. I don't look. I'm not a lawyer, I, yeah, and know. neither is anyone who works on this staff of this movie. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you don't even need that. And by the way, so I have personal experience. Uh, with not public defenders, but seeing a very rookie lawyer work mm -hmm. uh, as of recently. I was in a gallery of a courtroom watching a case. <laughs> And it, I told you about this. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of, this is, this is 100, I haven't told you about this. I, this is 100% real what I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the, 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 the subject of this case, but I'm watching this case and it's a guy who was pulled over for doing some things and the cop is, the cop who pulled him over is on the stand, right? Mm -hmm. And this is it, two young lawyers on either side, right? The, the right. young lawyer representing the state, um, and the cop and the and the the young lawyer representing this guy who was arrested, who looked like Shook Knight. Um, so he was guilty. He was mad fucking guilty. The at one point the cop says something, and the lawyer, the the young guy who's defending uh, Shook Knight, was like, "I object, Your Honor, on like whatever grounds." And he says it, but he was wrong. Like he was like. She said X, and I'm like, listen, I'm like, yo, she didn't say that. Like, I'm sitting right here, nigga. Like, you ain't catching shit. Like, she ain't say that shit. And the 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 other rookie lawyer was like, she just turned to this dude. And she was like, she didn't say that. And and <laughs> and so he was like, oh. And the the judge goes, do you want to like basically like pull back your objection? He was like, nah. Yo, he said nah to the judge. And the judge was like, what? Uh, nah, yo. Nah, I'm all right. Nah, yo. I'm all right. I'm all right, yo, I I'm like, judge. Yo, I was like, <laughs> yo. She looked, the, the other lawyer looked at her partner who was sitting in the galley like, is this nigga for real? And that dude started laughing. And I was like, yo, this is a real ass case. Like, this guy's going to go to jail over this shit. Yo, it was the funniest shit I've ever seen. He lost, by the way. I can't wait for that to be the next option in the next Phoenix Wright game. Nah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> like, don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you right, Yana. You right. You right. Counsel, Yana. would you like to call? <laughs> Yana. <laughs> Yana. <laughs> like, Counsel, would you like to call another witness to the stand? Nah. 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 nah we good over here, nah, fam. Bet. Bet. I'm all right. <laughs> bet. Right. Dead ass. <laughs> Like, no, you can't be. I dead ass my case. Yeah, <laughs> the case, uh, the the defense rests. Uh, I'd like to call another. You know what? No, we can't do that. No, that shit made me mad. Find you guilty. Yo, how is Word. your wife? How is, how is your wife not screaming at the she television was during? She this? was laughing. She was laughing her ass off. <laughs> I was like, "Can you do?" Like, no, you can't. You're not supposed to do this, that, and the other. Like, I, shit is hilarious. Grace is accused of murdering her husband. And she wants to plead out. Chris Williams, thank you. Um, Jasmine is told that she must go get Grace to sign a plea deal and get this high-profile case swept under the rug because Rory doesn't want all this heat brought down on the public defender's office. Okay, Rory wants this done right away. Too sweet. Go down there, get her to sign it, take that paper back. We're done. Right? right. This, this is the idea. Yeah. Why are you sending the rookie lawyer to do this? Why don't you just go down there? It takes five seconds. Uh, yeah. He He's called, like, he I didn't send the two more experienced lawyers. He sends the one who doesn't know anything. Right. They're like, well, she, she's really good at, at pleas, but she's completely worthless and dumb. <laughs> He's busy combing out his wig. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, he's got to take it off. 
and then comb it out and then put it back on. <laughs> put it back on. Oh, it's like should look like a furry Mega Man. Home, you know? like, <laughs> it don't look good. You know? oh, it don't shit. look good. Man. Oh my god! Yeah, she's scared of shit going in this prison too. Wait, so have any of y'all ever been inside a prison? Fuck no. Uh, uh, Alcatraz on a tour. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I've been some at live active shit. No. No, yeah, I, yeah. no. If you in jail, don't call me. I know the Bible says I'm supposed to show up. I ain't going to show up. I'm an atheist. Yeah, no, I'm yeah cause a couple of years ago, I used to work as a um, career development facilitator for the mayor's office. So basically, for guys that guys and women that were about to get out, I had to go into the oh, prison wow. okay, and talk to them, hey, all right, cool, you about to get out, what's your plan? You have, a, you have internet, you have email, do you know how to use the email? Blah, 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 whatever, but yeah, it was like, Matt Aubrey was never a fan of jail, walking in there, it's like just seeing it, like, like yeah, Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely not doing this shit, Yeah, ever, no, no, no. it was wild, bro. You get out there like, hey, yo, you trying to buy some weed? Nah, yo, I'm good, actually. <laughs> you don't know. I'm just going to wait till it's legal. Even, like, even um, nope. when I went to the women's prison, that was... Nope. Yeah, but it was funny. It's like I expected it from, I guess, the um, the cat calls from the, like the feminine looking women. Yo, but even the fucking studs and shit. Hey, how you doing, Mister Parker? Oh, they got some like they, shoes you got on. I'm like, I, I bet they can't wait to do some room yeah, rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. Slide your ass over back over to your goddamn desk. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah, damn. Fucking choke your ass out, boy. <laughs> Get your ass over here. Like, ah, so scared. Don't be fucking pegging me. Nah, yo, I'm I'm good. <laughs> No, ja- I don't need to go to jail for anybody. Jasmine doesn't want the I case, come right? Because she's anyway. like, she's like, I don't think I'm good enough to do this. You and, right? And Rory is like, No, nah, you gonna do it? <laughs> Just get, get it done, get it done, get it done. Get Why it is done. Tyler Perry in this role? Where's my coffee? Get it done. <laughs> He's uh, like a he. He's like a bad version of a sergeant in every like action movie. Yeah. Like just yelling, like the 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 yelling black sergeant who's really mad at Stallone for going his own way, but yeah. really happy that he did in the end, yeah. but won't admit it. I'm like, why are you in this film? Like, you could have put anyone in this. Oh, that way, this shit is ridiculous. All right, so she's sitting here looking at the um the file. Yeah, she goes to prison to meet with Grace. She oh, never she never looked at it before going. But but you know no you notice how she takes the file and she purposely turns it away from the damn table and dumps it. Yeah yeah. Because she's not a good actress. Um, during the oh, me- come on. <laughs> during the meeting, Jasmine tells Grace uh, that she's going to ask for 15 years. Uh, Grace requests to be transferred to a prison closest to her son. That's that's the only thing that Grace wants is to be transferred to a prison closer to her son, and she will sign whatever plea deal. Um, what city was this? Do we know? It was in Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure. I don't, Grace, I don't know where in Virginia. Grace thought she was a goddamn runaway slave and shit. <laughs> I just want to be close to my boy. Yeah. So I thought she actually did a pretty good portrayal. I, I thought mean, she was. Look, I thought she was the strongest uh, she, actor. She, she, well, uh, I'll get to a couple of overacted scenes. Later oh, <laughs> it's a Tyler Perry movie. I'm just saying she's the best in this movie. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> With a very, it's a very tight race between her and uh, her co-star. Because I thought he I mean, was wonderful. He, he made this movie. Yo. Oh, this nigga, was, this nigga was on an 11. He was on an 11. <laughs> Jasmine is back home, right? And she's talking uh, about the case with her co-workers, uh, Donnie and Tilsa. I asked my wife, are you supposed to do that? And she's like, well, you can ask your co-workers for advice. But she said, what you probably shouldn't do is talk about it in the presence of your law officer husband. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you know, <laughs> you can't just have a kickback just talking about the case. And this client privilege, like, turn to client privilege. Like, what the fuck? I mean, fuck HIPAA. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine is satisfied with the fact that Grace wants to plead guilty, but uh, <laughs> another light skinned man with uh, curly hair. Crystal says, Williams and shit. Great value. <laughs> God damn. He, uh, he seemed angry. I'm not saying. Donnie, Donnie, citing the fact that Grace said she committed the crime only to officers and not to Jasmine, uh, and with the fact that Grace has been a model citizen with no priors, he questions uh, this case and Jasmine's ability to handle it, because you're a black woman in a Tyler Perry movie, you're stupid. All right, question. That's yeah, what I, just, I was like... Yo, is this nigga a villain? <laughs> Yo, what is going on? And uh, hey, question, hey law officer uh, 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 Debarge, officer Debarge, you just gonna let some other fake Debarge nigga talk to your wife That's like what I'm that? That's about to ask you. Nigga, it's, 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 two, it's, it's two married men in that situation. Nah, yo, when he got when he got up and like walked to the door, 
I would have done something there. I would have gotten up. And then I'd have been like, oh, y'all want some more chips? They'd be like, yeah, that's cool. And I'd have walked right behind that nigga and I'd have choked his ass out. <laughs> yeah, yo, talk like, to my wife like, what the fuck? Here, yo. I'd get the fuck yo, out of my goddamn house, yo, bitch. I'm sitting there watching like, okay. All right. Like, when are you going to fight at, him? At some point. Right. At least a... Dude, at least like you know, to sit up and yeah, switch yeah. my hands. Hey, <laughs> right. Like nothing. Act like you're going for your service weapon. He said, like, yeah. <laughs> I feel threatened. <laughs> I feel no. threatened because I'm not the only light skinned dude in here. Somebody got to die. You got to grab that shit like light skinned Highlander. Yeah, like there can only be one of us annoying people. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I found that to just be odd. And it was. I would have just grabbed that nigga by that members only coat and threw his ass out. Like, yo, don't. No, knock it off. He was, he was he was coming for a throat. Like, yo. <laughs> You're worthless. You're a worthless piece of shit. And she was like, I know. I'm in this movie. And, and yeah. And his, er, he was like, well, you know, he was just telling like it is. He walked out. He was like, all right, nigga. Now, I can't yeah. tell. <laughs> is, uh, is Officer DeBarge wearing a wig? I can't tell. No, I think that is, ge- that I is think genuinely that might be his hair. hair. Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a similar haircut. Yeah, and don't you do it. He does have a similar haircut. No, he don't. That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's some bullshit right there. I mean, because the the only thing that's fooling me is the hairline. The hairline right? is like a little The hairline is a little low on the forehead. <laughs> and it's a little and look, I know I shouldn't be talking about fucked up hairlines, but look, I'm a I'm the subject matter expert on fucked up hairlines. <laughs> so it, the shit just looks kinda it, it looks kinda like it's going with yeah, the flow. It, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just it's just too much. It's it's way too goddamn high. I don't know, man, no like Stands have been loosened up a little bit with cops and shit, but yeah, that that can't be fucking um. Yeah, like, I don't think I don't regulation. I don't. I feel like yeah, yeah. yeah cops not supposed to have, cops supposed to have like facial hair either, right? They're supposed to have like mustaches, but not like you know. I think you have a, they have beards now. I think firemen really can't have like beards and mustaches because you know they want the thing like the the mask. Yeah, stick. Cops I've seen with beards and mustaches a little bit more. It's, okay. like I said, it's getting a little bit more kind of. Wild I feel open. like that should be okay. Yeah, but that shit. Right. But <laughs> wait, I remember years ago. Like it was like was twenty something. Yo, it used to be this cop. Everybody knew that nigga in the city. <laughs> if you're from Baltimore, you probably know what the fuck I'm talking about. It was this cop that used to be running around with a tongue ring. A tongue ring. I bullshit you not. Like he was just you. flashing it around. No, he would pull you over. He said talking to you. He's like, I got a fucking tongue, got a fucking tongue <laughs> ring and shit. That's weird. That's a. I can't take you seriously. Nah, I bullshit you not. Nah, yo. <laughs> like, what's going on, girl? <laughs> like, all right, all right, all right, all right. He's always hanging around choices and shit. Of course he was. <laughs> <laughs> or as my wife used to call that place, Club No Choices. Wow. When, uh, but accurate. Yeah. When, um, when that, uh, when evil light skinned dude leaves, um, and, uh, his girlfriend Lizzo, when they leave, <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine and Jordan, are in the bedroom together, and Jasmine tells Jordan that she don't want to be a lawyer no more because it's hard. And he was like, "Yo, I saw an old lady kill yeah. herself. <laughs> what, what happened <laughs> to you yo, today?" Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Look, if I saw an old lady kill herself, <laughs> you could put up with your coworkers for a minute. As a matter of fact, yeah, it's a I was right there. I kind of didn't even stop. I didn't even grab a leg. His I'm a worthless. His, his name is Jordan. You know, that's real life. He looks like Shamar Moore. He's like a bootleg Shamar. So his name is Shamar DeBarge. That's fine. <laughs> his wig's better. The next day, Grace Grace's Back son down, Grace's son Malcolm visits the public defender's office and he begs Jasmine not to let Grace plead guilty. If he can just see his mom, he would he would assure he could he can convince her not to plead guilty. because uh, he knows in his heart of hearts that uh his mom wouldn't kill a fly. Um He was hollering and shit like I mean, look, he's not wrong, but she thought she did. <laughs> Jasmine, later on, Jasmine meets with prosecutor Bradley Tankerton, played by the dude from Heroes. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I, mean, like I was like, what are you doing in this? Uh, and like, he's a big enough name that I thought he was going to be in the movie longer. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, he was, he might have, he, he was probably like, yo, yeah, I, I'm not staying out here for this shit. He got the script, uh, uh, three days into the five day shoot and was like, nah, yo, I'm not, I'm not doing this. He shit. was like, cut my roll down. <laughs> He's like, give me the scene where I walk to an elevator, I get in and you never see me again. <laughs> so the prosecutor, Grace tells the prosecutor, look, you know, I, we want 15 years and, and to move, to transfer. Her, uh, her to a, a, a prison closer to uh, her son, and the prosecutor is like, "No, fuck you." Okay, <laughs> straight. Up. All right, hold on. Okay, <laughs> allow me to dig into the legalese of this situation. 
the plea deal is I plead guilty and I get to and I get to stay in a prison close to my son. And you don't give me any any lax on jail time. Or I get to go to whatever prison they determine and I get possibly life in prison or the death penalty. That's not much of a plea deal. No, no. 15 years is not, I mean, like... No, 15 years is is kind of what life is, isn't it? Or 20 years is life. Well, 20, 25 is generally life, but this woman is, let's say, 55. Right. 15 yeah. years for her is probably life. Right. I, I'm just like, why don't you just give her 15 years? Who cares? <laughs> Fuck, give her 10. He was like, nah, nah, I, I, I'm, no, we want life in prison. Get so that shit. We want life in prison. So 16 years? Yeah, right. Like, um, I didn't understand. This and, plea deal was terrible. And, uh, and, yeah, it's not much of a plea deal, but I don't know how much you get for murder. Um, I guess it depends on what your profession is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Zero to 25 years. Um, so, but he said he might think about transferring grace. Right? And you never saw him again. And then you never saw him again. He went right back to hang out with his uh, his <laughs> brother who was learning how to fly. And then he ended up on This Is Us. Exactly. There's a much better career move for him. Anyway. Uh, Jasmine informs Grace uh, and she agrees to the deal. She's like, whatever, just get me closer to my son and I will do life in prison. Um, that night, Jasmine is going over the case and she contacts Sarah, played by, uh, uh, Felicia Rashad. Uh, Sarah is Grace's friend and Jasmine speaks with Sarah about Grace's character, right? Mm. And Sarah explains that she feels a bit guilty about the whole situation. And then she goes into a bit of backstory about Grace's failed relationship. You see, Grace is a, is a, 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 a divorcee. Uh, and, and she's very bitter because, you know, she's Yo. black in a Tyler Perry movie. Yo, Cicely Tyson scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, Cicely Tyson was walking <laughs> around, walking Yo, around like, like the hell. girl from the grudge and shit. Yo, that shit <laughs> freaked me out for half a second. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. This house looks very familiar. It's almost like we've seen it before. But anyway. No, we haven't. I ain't paying attention. <laughs> and, and, Amazing. and. Amazing. Sarah, so she, and she goes on to say that, you know, Sarah, uh, she, the reason she feels guilty is because she encouraged Grace to, you know, go out more and be more social. Um, we get a quick shot of Cicely Tyson, you know, doing whatever creepy <laughs> Japanese girls do. And, and, uh, I'm way too good to be in these movies. All right, now pay attention, pay attention to this, what I'm about to say. I'd rather not, but go ahead. Sarah gives Jasmine a flyer from the art gallery where Grace met her future husband right. and rushes Jasmine out abruptly. Sarah gave <laughs> the lawyer a piece of evidence. <laughs> Why would she do that? I mean, I, you know, we won't. We got to move the plot along. I, I, I guess, I guess, but we'll, we'll just circle back around to that because I don't understand I don't understand why she did that. Oh, Felicia. And I love Felicia Rashad, man. Like, like, you know, I love Felicia Rashad, <laughs> and I am so annoyed that she is in this movie. I, I, I am I am thoroughly yeah. pissed. I am also thoroughly pissed that Sarah asked Jasmine, what would you like to drink? And Jasmine said coffee when Sarah clearly made her a fucking cup of tea. That's really <laughs> irritating the shit out of me. <laughs> she just got that hot water. Yeah, I was like, yo, you don't pour coffee out of a fucking kettle. It's not a thing. <laughs> Wait, you, wait, wait the, the coffee doesn't scream in the kettle when it's done? No, she fucking made her a cup of tea. I mean, she was like, she was like would, you, would you like coffee? Yeah, I would. She was like, here's tea, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you no, want. It probably is coffee. It's Sanka. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the most egregious thing that's happened in this film. She's serving people instant coffee. They should have locked but her you know ass up for that I alone. I was watching Cosby Show like a couple weeks ago. Felicia Rashad I remember growing up watching that shit. Yo, Felicia Rashad is a beautiful woman. And it was just like, you know, it's, that's Claire Huxtable. Yeah. Looking back, I'm like, yo, she was really, like, really ridiculously fucking fine. She is. Yeah, she was like, she's still a good looking. Yeah, woman. she like, was shit. like, she was like Jet Beauty of the Week fine. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, 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 she could be a sunfold in a Jet Mag. Like, how the fuck you pull that off? Uh huh. But dabba do, but dabba. I don't know. I'm about to say drugs. Yeah. You know, but, she's married to the dude for um Village People. Before she married a Marvel Shaw, she was married to the Lee Singer, the, the um, black dude. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is weird because I wouldn't. You know what? Yeah, like, well, <laughs> but I thought 
You know what? Okay. I no, guess it, not, it's not the whole team. Not it's me. It's not the whole just, team. <laughs> just them dudes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a wild fucking thing. Like, oh, shit, you were in uh, the village people. Yeah. Like, why are you trying to pick me up? Oh, no, no, no. Not me. <laughs> Those are my homeboys. They all over there. Yeah, I'm trying to get some pussy. I, I'm trying to talk to the women. <laughs> He the only dude in the gay club trying to holler at all the straight women that are there. Right. He cleaned up. That work damn shit. Yeah, he was like, hey, I'm the cop. Remember the cop? What's oh, up? shit. They want you as a new recruit. Like, wait, hold on a second. Unless the vest looking for you. No, I'm good. <laughs> hold on. Jasmine. Yo, she is, made her uh... tea. Yo. That shit pissed me off, yo. Like, it's a continuity error that is that is an unforced error. Jasmine hate, is home. Just Looking at yeah. evidence, right? Like she's like, "Well, Wait why minute. is this blood pulled up over here, and this other blood isn't pulled up over here?" And and um, and, and Officer DeBarge is like, <clears throat> "Is like, well, that sounds like questions a good lawyer would would ask." He's like, "So you should go find one because you're not one." <laughs> <laughs> so good job using your brain, woman. It is amazing that the worst lawyer and the worst cop got together. Yeah. They shouldn't have what, kids. Because they're going to make the worst firemen I've ever seen. Like, they're horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So she presents this new evidence to uh, to Rory. Rory is like, nah. Get it done. And, yeah, get it done. Where's my coffee? Get it done. Coffee, that coffee. Em- that empty-ass cup. Right. And then this white <laughs> woman comes Every in. Every cup in this movie doesn't have anything in it. She, she, he brought, she, this you know, white woman comes in, eating. brings this, brings this, cu- this, this cup of nothing. Uh, uh, the best part of waking up is nothing in your cup. And he, and he <laughs> fucking takes a fake sip and he's, <laughs> what is, what, what is this? <laughs> and then it, like, is that, what, was that supposed to be a joke? I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be a joke, but my question is, yo, you could have put water in it. Yeah. Like, you could have just put, put water soda in that bitch. And see, it sounds like we might, it may sound like we're nitpicking, but fuck no, that. Yo, if no, you yo. put certain shit in no. a movie, you should take the extra step to make it as real as possible. Right. It takes it, nothing to put some Sprite, a goddamn Pepsi in a damn cup to give it some weight to make it look like... Right, because that, that's the shit. problem. If you're holding a, a cup that doesn't have anything in it, you, your body doesn't physically react in a way... Like, it just doesn't... You look silly. Right. Yeah, I, I sure am drinking this soda. Uh, we, we, we like, get, it looks dumb. We about to get some wild shit later as far as this drinking thing. Nigga. <laughs> that diet <laughs> scene is wild. Like, why did they even have forks? He should have just used his hand. Like, mm, these eggs are delicious. He's on a restricted diet. <laughs> he's, he's, on, he's, he's doing keto right now. He didn't want to oh, fuck it up. At, uh, so, Rory, uh, he... <clears throat> He tell he demands that Jasmine go get that plea deal signed. So Jasmine's at the prison, and um, as she's talking with with Grace, whose hair is just all kinds of fucked up. Look, Roger Trout from scene to scene. <laughs> yo, my wife got so mad. She was like, "Yo, they couldn't have combed her hair before bringing her out." I mean, no, that's how your hair looks when you're in prison, right? Apparently, is, wait, is that a wig too? Uh, I think yeah, I think oh. I think one because because and I can't remember which scene it is. Doves, one nigga. of these Doves. scenes, <laughs> one of these scenes, the hair is like like this, and then another one, the hair is like this, like <laughs> like off to the side, and then it's like that Frederick Douglass thing. Yeah, it's weird, yo. It's, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> like Yahoo serious. <laughs> Oh my god! It's wild, yo. It's it's wild. Damn! Like between scenes, pull that bitch back like your ponytail, baby. Shit! It, it just it just. Well, how are you supposed to know that she's not having a good time in prison if her wig isn't oh, disheveled? Hey, shit, maybe. Um, cell so black H. Jasmine shows Grace uh, the uh, the art gallery flyer that she got from that that she got from Sarah, and. She, uh, Grace starts going into the backstory of how she met her husband. Um, and sure. now we, we, we enter, uh, the, the, the best part of, oh, of this film. Uh, Eggs, Eggs, aka Jimmy Olsen, aka McCod. Is it McCod? McChad? Ah, sure. McHad? McHad? Whatever. Books. This, this guy's amazing. And he comes in. And he is the one that just makes this movie. He and comes in. Tony Terry from Audi and shit. <laughs> this is a this is a flashback scene, right? And this is this is like the whole second act of this film is just uh, uh, Grace telling this story. And, this nigga just stunting on everybody. Yo. And he comes in and into this art gallery, and his hair, like McCab Brooks, is bald, right? <laughs> this dude's hair. 
Why can't he just be bald? What? Why can't he just be bald? <laughs> He's a I mean, handsome guy. Why are you trying to make this nigga look like a fool? I mean, is it because like Tyler Perry is aware of the stereotype of the evil, dark-skinned, bald, black dude? So he's like, well, oh, I know what to do now. I'll just give them hair. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. Right. I just... I would be like, yo, I'm not... the yo, worst fucking wig I've ever you seen. Know, I'm like, hey, I'm not wearing this. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, then, you can't again, make me do this. Thing. You got the wig. All right, cool. You could, you know, you could have touched it up, you know, blend it in a little. You could, you could do some shit with this fucking wig. It's nah, just ridiculous. Yo. yo, this looks like Lego hair. Yo. <laughs> like, you just, you just pop the shit on, yo. yo <laughs> like it looks. This bad. shit looks insane. <laughs> This is your, this is the same haircut you have, yo. No one ain't, motherfucker. My yes, it is, yo. That yes, shit. it is. That shit. This, this blend's going on. It's, it's, it's yo, even. yo, it's look. You can't, you you can't, can't tell me. Shout out to Eric. <laughs> look, look, you can't tell me. You I can't can, tell I me. I can tell you what the fuck I'm telling you right now. Look, you can't tell me that this is not the role you were born to play. You auditioned for this. And he didn't. He didn't like you, but he was like, "Yo, this hair is fire. Let me see if I can remake this shit." Oh man, fuck I'm mad, yo. I'm mad at you. You ain't in this role. That nigga shirt wide open and shit. Yeah, yeah he got the he got the taco <laughs> meat shirt. I, I, I guess it was for me. This was for you. Yeah. <laughs> he got the shark tooth in there, an African shark tooth, shirt, whatever. Shirt unbuttoned down to my fucking belly button. Yeah, <laughs> you, you gotta go nigga. Yeah, you gotta let Just people know. Up. You gotta let people know, man. Oh man, the hair's ridiculous, I, though, man. I okay. Can we? Can we agree to spoil the end of this? Because I think we're, we're like get out. If we don't yeah, spoil yeah, the end, yeah. you got you got to talk about the how none of this shit makes sense going through. Yeah. All right. So we know that this nigga is lying, and he's not really a photographer. He stole somebody else's work to pretend so he could dupe her and other older women how out many of their money. People are in on it. Right, yeah, because I, I how did no one all. know that this is not his fucking work? <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking. Because she's a photographer. She's did she, did she have all of her fantastic work somewhere in the basement? Never showed it to anybody. Nobody showed up and was like, "Nigga, this is Susan's work. What the fuck?" <laughs> this nigga's just like, "Nah, yo, this is all mine." How, yo? How, yo? How? I've been to an art opening, yo. People know artists, yo. You can't right. just show up and be like, I'm an artist. No, what the fuck? <laughs> and like, how many strings did he have to pull to even get this this function together? All right, you can, right. Steal, you can steal somebody's shit. You can maybe sell it. I don't, wait, no. How do you get to the point? You that look. We're gonna have a heavy. We'll give you an art show. We got some some light there. Hey, yo, what the so fuck? It's open bar. You know, it's like it's they got like, light jazz music playing. Play. Yo, come on, yo. Nobody thought. Yo, I've never heard of this guy. I've <laughs> never heard of this guy. He don't got a website. He don't got a Geo Cities. He don't have nothing. But they just gave this nigga a whole art this, opening with somebody stolen work. This what is, the fuck? This is why you don't fucking move to Virginia. <laughs> no, I, yo, if you told me this happened in Florida, I'd believe you. North Florida. Mm. Shit, if you tell me this happens in Southern Virginia, I'll believe you. <laughs> yeah, you know, this uh, this looks like some Richmond level shit. <laughs> uh, she starts going... Going okay, hold on. I, I gotta pause that part. Um, she starts going into the backstory of how she how they met. She says that Sarah told her to go to the art gallery. Mm, how um, convenient. Yeah, how very convenient. And how convenient that Sarah, who, you know, spoiler alert, is in on it, gave yeah. the lawyer the piece of information linking the two together. Why, Why would she do that? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it doesn't make any You're making Felicia Rashad look stupid. Yo. <laughs> like, hey, 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 hey. A Here's a clue. Right. <laughs> right. Why would I do that? What the that? fuck? Yeah. I, I, all right. All right, yo. All right. Like, this is what we're talking about, yo. This is what we're talking about when we talk about, like, like, like don't write a movie in in, a, in five hours and shoot the bitch in five days. Yeah, this, like, this is, is stupid. It, you know, truth be told, yo, this, this nigga's whole look is, is, is just fucking annoying. First off, we don't trust a motherfucker that wear... Rings on eighty percent of his fucking fingers. No, no, you can't trust that nigga. Like the f- fucking black no. Mandarin and shit. Nah, yo, this is, this yeah, this yeah. nigga hangs out at yeah. Vulcan Blazers. Yeah. Knock it yeah. off. You got all this super sexy tight shit on. Nah, nigga, you doing too much, man. Nah, yeah, this is. Uh, all right, she meets scarf on and shit. The diner. The, she meets Shannon. Shannon yo, DeLong. Uh, He's a photographer, right? No, no and, he isn't. No, he isn't. They, and they hit it off, right? And then Shannon at one point finds out where she works and. They start flirting, and he starts sending gifts, right? All right, no, nah, yo, and we got we to gotta scoot back no, to well, the art opening. Is, oh, Because, okay. yo, well, this nigga's lines, yo, 
oh, the the most beautiful lighting in this building Yo, uh, is right here. That motherfucker, where you are. That motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, Come he's on. A, he's yeah. a fucking walking R&B 90s song, yo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, if he had... Yeah, he ain't if even he, a walking R&B 90s song. He's the deep-voiced <laughs> break in between <laughs> the two songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Baby, you know I'm here for you. Yeah. All Maybe right. Either, I do this is why I don't listen to that music. So I don't listen to it. <laughs> So Maybe I knew about it. I just didn't care. No, you don't understand how much I love you, do you? I'm here for you. I ain't here to cheat on you like you did me with some other fella. But that's all right. I, I love you anyway, girl. You, <laughs> Yo. Give <it> you. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Man. If he started doing the fucking H Town dance, it would have been fine. That that would have all been. <laughs> you gotta get it to him. Like, <laughs> here's a fucking walking Will Down in verse. Get the fuck Yo, out of here! Come on, man. All this right, all right. Part of the courting process, right? Part of the courting process is the the infamous. Now, the the movie has been out as of recording three days. And this diner scene Man. is infamous. <laughs> so they're sitting in this diner, right? They're sitting in this diner. They're sitting in a double T. And, and, and this, nigga took, this nigga took her to a double T diner. You and, know, and, and they're sitting, they're sitting down uh, at the Silver Diner uh, eating the, the Epoch Chopra special or whatever. I love Silver Diner. Though. And I do too. <laughs> and... and in the background, this entire scene is beneath me. <laughs> in the background, like in it, almost, almost like like to the point where Tyler Perry wants you to see it, right? He don't give a fuck. He almost to the point where he wants you to see it because there's no reason to stage this shot like this if it is not meant for you to see this white man in the background. <laughs> and this white man who is not an extra, like like there are there are like actors who are like and in, in who like get put in pools to be extras, right. but they're actual actors, right? Like, no. Nah, this guy is not an actor. He is a dude. He's probably the cinematographer's father. Or some shit like that. No, this is the nigga who made the eggs <laughs> at the craft wait, wait, services. Wait, go back to thirty four twelve, yo. He he looking directly at the goddamn camera. Of course he is, because he's not a fucking actor. <laughs> and he's looking and he and he's and his job is to act like a diner patron. Yo, he is looking directly at that camera. <laughs> like, hard focus. Talk, talk that shit, Shannon. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, like he's looking at the and like, like this is where editing comes in, right? Like, this is where this is where if you made if you took a sixth day to make a movie, you would notice something like this and maybe try to edit out the guy that's being a fucking distraction, <laughs> huh? Drinking that empty glass. <laughs> he's. I mean, he might as well have be just pantomime. He might as well have nothing in his hands <laughs> while he's drinking. <laughs> Ah. And he's pantomiming eating eggs, right? He has there are eggs in front food of him. on the plate. Right? I don't know if those but are they're real. Not, they're, they're they not can't real. be real. They can't be real. Be because, <laughs> because I refuse to believe that someone is that stupid that he sees a real plate of eggs and just doesn't eat them, right? Like Nothing on the fork. Right. Nothing on the fork. Like, I just can't. He's testing the ketchup. This is, this is amazing to me. That this guy is just... And he's damn near, he damn near takes up a third of the frame, right? Like, the way it's shot, there's, there's <laughs> Shannon and this guy in one third of the frame. There's empty space in the second third of the frame. And then there's Grace in the third, for, third, uh, third of the frame. It's, I mean, he's sharing a whole third of the frame uh, with Shannon. Yeah. Like, it's so distracting. And it really, Pisses me off <laughs> that this guy Tyler Perry is considered some sort of fucking a uh, 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 pillar of film. Yeah, I, I I don't even know what to say to this scene. <laughs> I I just don't know what to say. It is it is so unbelievably cheaply done, and it's like trying to shoot oh, the man. camera angle next to them where it makes him look huge. Also is a problem. Yeah. Right? Like, it, it's just, it's a poorly conceived shot. Like, in, in, in every aspect, it's a poorly conceived shot. I just, I, just, I don't, <laughs> I don't like bad shots, yo. I really don't. Uh, and it, it's, it's. Well, fucking, what's worse? Fucking hand, this, this, this shot setup or the one in the whiz? 
You know what? <laughs> I, you know what? I, this one. Because the one in the Wiz is at least, like, it's trying to show scale and scope. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> right. It's not dynamic. But, it, it, like... At least there's not an extra just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> let me be your next movie. Wait, wait. like the, like for the Wiz, that would this would be the equivalent of of uh, 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 Sandman coming out and just sweeping nothing <laughs> with with no broom, just pantomiming <laughs> sweeping the yellow brick road. <laughs> All right, wait now. Oh, Yo, fuck this movie, man. I, I've been out to eat. We're only. I, I'm I'm slightly sophisticated. Thirty five minutes in. <laughs> I've been to my fair share of diners. Which diner is in the area so one? I mean, this feels like this feels like a double T. So double T, double T diner has one. The silver, un, silver, silver diner doesn't have wine, do they? What? Oh, uh, wine? Yeah, wine. No, I don't. No, well, they have alcohol. I don't think yeah. they have wine. What? I just make sure. Yeah, they have alcohol. They don't have wine. I don't know. Yeah, not, not, I don't. I don't know which which diner is serving Franzia or whatever that boxed wine <laughs> bullshit right. is. I, I I just love that. This is just black. No, I hate to do, man. Look, I I have to tell you, ladies, and I hate to say this because I generally don't like this statement. Um, do, do better. You, know, you don't don't take a date with a nigga with wine at a at a at a cheap diner. Don't, like, this is unacceptable. Don't take a date not a with date. a nigga look like he wear brunch boots to a cookout. <laughs> yeah, and he look, he's dre- he's dressed like that. Yeah, like nah, where, where you the fuck you going, man? We want to play ball. Is this is this a cautionary tale of like um? Like don't don't fuck with young men. I don't know. Maybe As it feels like a cautionary tale about just don't trust a nigga with a uh, It's a cautionary tale of um, you know <laughs> women uh, don't don't uh, you know be miserable if you if you get divorced be miserable <laughs> and don't go out don't get you dick. yeah don't yeah. ever go out <laughs> I think this story somehow has to do with Tyler Perry's mom after being in an abusive terrible relationship. She got her life together after that and started dating somebody else. And Tyler Perry was like, nah, fuck that dude. Yeah, you know. I don't make this story dad. about him. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this dude. You're not my real dad. Have yeah. you um have either one of you ever dated an older older woman? And if so, what's yes. the gap? I mean, how much older? Technically, my wife is older than me. How many years she got you by? Like a year and a half. My wife is older than me. Mike, really? really? I mean, look. Nigga. Look. My wife is significantly older than mine. Yeah, his wife is significantly older than than yeah. him. My wife is, I mean, depending on the time of year, five to six years old. Yeah, right, my girl. Yeah. yeah. Yo, tend- I've dated. I've Get dated. Young piece of ass right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tenderoni. What can I say? Uh, that's gross. I don't. I don't like to refer to myself like that at all. Um, <laughs> um, yo, ten, yo, I'm sorry. Tenderoni is a wild. Term. Always funny. It's, it's always fucking it's funny. It's fucking hilarious. Term. It's always fucking funny. It's a ridiculous. Tenderoni term. and kashif. I don't know why this oh, is just fucking shit. funny. I don't even know what that means. Um... But I did date someone who was, I was 29 and she was 49. Yeah, my man, man. All right. that's, yeah. it's not right there, shit. Mm. About 50, that's, that's, that's still. I, I showed, I wait, showed wait, wait, a picture, she, was, she, yeah. she was, she that's was hot. Good. Yeah, she was a, she was a hot older woman, and I showed a picture a picture of her to my mom. My mom was like, "What you gonna do with that old ass woman?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, that's that's terrible." She didn't look fifty. She didn't look yeah. forty nine. She looked great. That's usually the case. I, yeah. I of course I met her at a uh, at a an outdoor wine festival. Um, uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. It was a, a Jamaican themed uh, outdoor wine festival. <laughs> you you uh huh. <laughs> oh, you it was black as fuck, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, like, it was black. It was black as shit. We like, what are you drinking? That steeple chase? Yeah, but I like that. <laughs> steeple chase. <laughs> <laughs> it was some bullshit like that too. It oh, was. Man, yeah. What was it? Uh, Ligonor? Yeah, that's what I knew. That's what you said. It. No. Yo, all the black folks be getting fucking loud. Yo, Fuck that, that shit is man. lit. The first time, I, first Woo. time we went, that shit caught me off guard. Like, yo, go throw that wine, man. Yo, yo, people be out got there like ten. Yo, by twelve o'clock, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, I've dated a couple I, of yeah. older women. Of course, y'all know one infamous older women woman story. <laughs> we, we, uh, we, will, we will not bring that one back up again. Yes, we will in the comments, but go ahead. People, look, if you know, you know. Yeah, we, we already covered that, that, that story. But yeah, um, other, other, than, other than her, I think my typical range has usually been about 10 to 15 years. Older than you. Yeah. Okay. Give or take. Like wherever I was, it was I could find somebody that was 10, 15 years older than me. For, That's not bad. For whatever reason. And she fucking jigalos. Hey. hey. 
I'll be here, get my shirt open, give me up, get my scarf. Yeah, yeah. Ashtray, goddammit. Right. <laughs> Put my brush boots on <laughs> and go to McDonald's. No shirt, brush boots on, no jeans. So they go on uh, a bunch of dates, right? And Didn't really need to see that nigga's pubic hair, but they <laughs> they have a good time. <laughs> Grace continues to tell the story, pointing out to Jasmine that uh, something in her gut told her that something doesn't feel right about this. You know, why is this? Why is this man who is fifteen years younger than me? Uh, you know, into me trying right? to fuck you. Yeah, yo, his attempts to get in the house, his game is terrible. Uh, his game is terrible, and his questions are really obvious. Right. Like, hey, got any uh, social security checks? Like, <laughs> what are you asking that for? So you rich? Is that what you're saying? I've been here seven times. I ain't seen you inside your house yet. Oh, yeah. Fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Let me in. Like the, uh, the story continues with a montage of various dates spanning three months. You waiting three months to have sex with a girl you're dating? This is all some Steve Harvey bullshit. It is kind of mm. some Steve Harvey stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I mean, three months. I'm, I mean, if I'm, I've done it. If I'm part of this, three months. How long? Is three, was it three months or longer? Yeah, it was, about, it was about three or four months. Yeah. Did you wipe out her accounts afterwards? Ah, uh, of course I did. <laughs> she didn't really have much, but. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could be a euphemism for something, but, I mean, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, three no, months, it was, it was like three or four months. Yep. She was was it worth it? Yeah. I bet it wasn't. She was a virgin. So, oh, oh yeah. then no, then it wasn't, wasn't worth it. Yeah. It wasn't. Congratulations. You tried to put your dick into like, a garden hose. Wow. That sounds awesome. Right. I mean, no, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was one terrible, but you know, it's like, and honestly, and you <laughs> took, you took this poor girl's virginity. I mean, wait, wait, first off, if you know me, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic. I know you're hopeless, but go ahead. You know, you know, I'm all about you know, oh, oh, caring and you no know, giving love. You know, so mm. I was not after the booty. It just that was I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed that you kept a straight. You you're quite the actor, quite the actor. Oh man, yeah, three first, four months. Yeah, but the first wow. Well, well, well I'll say two months because the first two months we weren't really official, so I was still side pieces. Oh, okay. Until we oh, oh. Until, oh, until, oh, so you had, so you had a holdover. <laughs> until, until Nigga, that don't count. That's like, yo, I'm on a diet. Until like, I'm not, eating, I'm not eating any ice cream. Until I'm just it. drinking milkshakes. <laughs> like, 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 once you're we, doing the same thing. Like, once we made it official, I had to let go of the... the, the that was the, the last week action. of the four months. <laughs> Nigga, just knock it off. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not waiting four months. Oh, man. I can see waiting like a month. Well, keep in mind the yeah. timeline of because this guy's a con. Yo, she don't have that much time. She's older. This guy's a con artist, right? This guy's a con artist. So just remember that three month thing. That's a long con. That's a very long con, and and this is not his first victim. He's a grifter. So, yeah, and we'll get back to it. So can we talk about show the shower get moist? It's just funny. No, but I was gonna talk about the shower scene because like she ain't really trying to get the hair wet. Yo. She's like she's standing there letting the shower water hit her face, and it barely first touched those all, bangs, and they, she's just they like, gotta "Go back to the wardrobe." You first, 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 they're first. like, "Yo, back!" And you Tyler Perry's off camera, like, "Back the fuck up!" Look, I pay for that wig. That's my wig. I don't know much about hair, but I do live with a black woman that is very hair conscious. Let me tell you something, yo. If if that woman's hair is any kind of straight, she is not getting into that goddamn shower without a cap on, yo. No, not ever. The black women don't just cop in the shower with straight hair, yo. Like it just like come on, yo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Does Tyler Perry have black women friends? Apparently not. Yeah. But he sure wants them to aid him. Of course black you women it. aid me. Like that's just <laughs> Dick, of course come you to me. Of come course to me, black church. women. I need your assistance. Help me. I'll see you on Thanksgiving. Help me. <laughs> Run that nigga off Twitter. Hey, call me. We go to church. <laughs> Goddamn shame. Oh shit. There's a Tyler Perry podcasting over there. Um so the actually the wild. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Can I, <laughs> yo? If you know, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna leave it alone. But that's fucking hilarious. Um, whole lot of promises, not a whole lot done. Anyway, um, <laughs> so where the fuck is Sarah from? She, she's only been friends with Grace for six years. Is what she said? Um, or six months? She said probably like six months. Yeah, probably like six months. Where the fuck are they from? Because these motherfuckers gallivanting all around town, and nobody knows that that's Sarah 
and her son. Like, are they from like New Jersey? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Uh, damn. And they've been doing this shit for twenty five years. They from that's DC. what they said in that's they what they said in the end of the, at the end of the movie. They've been it's doing this for twenty five years. Shit, Alexandria. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, yo, they had to be far <laughs> away from their home, and yeah. nobody recognizes them. So the story continues. The montage of various dates spanning three months. Um, they go to church, like, like, of course. And he was, he was not the church type girl, but he went to church with me. That was the one thing I could connect with him on. I was like, I get it, dude. This shit don't make no <laughs> kind of sense. I was, I, he's just sitting in there waiting for brunch. That's what he's doing. That's what I feel like the last couple times. Like, I've been when to do church. we get to yeah. drink the wine and eat the body of Christ? And yeah, yeah I went. You know, y'all got the crackers in here. Like, what day is that? Is that yeah, I went on the first date to church. Nigga, knock it off. I was like, yo, why are you doing off. that? <laughs> was this a four month? Uh, no. It's somebody else. This is a blind date. My buddy has, yo, my buddy I has, would be furious. What are you doing? Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> yo, no, no, meet me at. We're talking on the phone. We're like, okay, she's real cool. You know, yeah, meet me, me at cool. New Psalms Baptist Church. No. <laughs> no, no, she gave me the address. So, what like, we're going to do is like, um. Did like, she tell you to dress up? No, I said, it was like, it was, it was, it was a movie night. Ca- it was one of them casual churches? Yeah, it was casual shit. It's like, yeah, it's coming to the address at yeah. 8 o'clock. You know, like, I'm going to have some. <laughs> 8 a.m. Wait, so I'm going to have some. No, p.m. I'm going to have some of my friends with me, but that's cool. We're like, all right, no problem. Shit. Don't try to do the ass. What's up? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I, call, I, I pull up. I'm like, wait, I know it's fucking head. First that was Damn. Tyler Gay and me. What the Yo. fuck? <laughs> Yo. I, I wouldn't have gone in. in. I, 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 I couldn't go. walk out. I couldn't I, like, fuck, I see, like fuck you, you different from me, my nigga. Yeah. There's no if I pulled up for a date and it's at a church, yo, I yo was, I'm Yeah, I was in there. Gone, yo. I was no, in before I burst into flames, get out of here. I was there for four hours. Nah, yo. Did no, you like get hard. any level no. of reciprocity? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. I think we went out one other time no. after that, like no. two weeks later, but nah, it, that was about it. Yo, she yo, come on. Like, yo, what? That's fucked up. That's a fucked up date. <laughs> see, I would see, I'm an asshole. Because I'd be like, all right, you got me, you got me. We going to church. All right. Hey, hey, let me give you the address for our second date. You show up, it'd be a fucking swingers club. Like, come on, come on in. Come on in. I'm not even into this, but fuck you for the first day. How about that? That's oh, fucked man. up. Yep. That's fucked up. What if you were Jewish? You're like, yo, I don't even subscribe right. to this shit. Or like, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, Black Israel. Like. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got your fucking Wonder Woman bracelets on and shit. You're like fucking Mortal Kombat. Yeah, come on. You can't go no, to that. That's a, that's a white man. That's a classic that's a one, man. Damn. Yo, you have had some fucking seriously <laughs> wild dates, but I bet none of them you stepped on the ground and watched CGI uh, um, lightning bugs come up. Bet uh, none of them. The one time I went to Westport. Mm, interesting. I like how you. Uh, I like how you. So at this point, like the Jasmine is Jasmine. Fucking Grace is really falling for Shannon, and he kind of he takes her to a terrible. meadow. He takes her to a meadow, <laughs> like, and and all of a sudden. This is uh, Final Cut Pro's worst uh, fucking the, the, the worst, and I mean <laughs> the worst CGI, as we say in Baltimore, lightning bugs, <laughs> but as everywhere else calls them fireflies. <laughs> lightning <laughs> bugs. Uh, the, the oh, worst, it's real, though. It's real. The worst CGI lightning bugs it, uh, yeah. uh, come up, and it, it is... <laughs> <laughs> and it is a. Tr- I mean, it's terrible looking. It's, Yo, it's terrible. a Snapchat filter, man. Yeah, it is. It's a Snapchat. <laughs> wait, 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 they shot in five days. Nah, yo, nah. They this had, is this they is had gross. to do. This. Yo, why didn't it? At this point, at this point, him holding the ring. If you told me that was also a part of the filter, and it I was, was like marriage, marriage, marriage. <laughs> like, and then he has like dog ears with a dog tongue coming out. Fine, fuck it. Who cares? Who gives a shit? It's like, a it's a plug in. I didn't even try. Seeing them pantomime, like Jesus imagining God. that these lightning bugs are here, is just hysterical to me. Yo, please because stop it's like, lightning bugs. No, that's what they are. They lightning <laughs> lightning bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, I don't know. It just it just it just looks terrible. Like, it just looks terrible yeah. because because they all come on cue, right? Like there right. are no lightning bugs <laughs> anywhere, and all of a sudden, fucking Shannon is just like. He's, uh, he kicked up some dust. Yeah, I'm right. First off, I didn't know that's what, what it took to make him come out. Just uh, start spinning in place and shit. <laughs> Just stomping her feet like. Yeah. Ah. 
So he asked her to marry him. So he him. proposes. He proposes, and she immediately says yes. This she beats gets, your proposal. She I would gives argue. up the cakes. Oh no, man! You ain't get the fuck out of my face. No, this this oh, beats man. your proposal. Oh, did you have lightning light, lightning bugs? Do you have lightning bugs at your? <laughs> no, I don't believe you did. <laughs> fuck out of here. Oh, well, I was on stage where I asked her at a John Legend concert. Whatever, <laughs> lightning <laughs> bugs beats that. <laughs> fuck out of here. Uh, and then she fucked him, so that was And then she cool. fucked him, and then they had a. And then they I had mean, you a, got, you got. Look, look, if a nigga break you lightning bugs, I mean, you got, you got to give it. If up. he has the power to control lightning bugs, I mean, that's 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 a that's, Spider-Man that's, villain, right? That's a that, <laughs> <laughs> that's some comic book shit, right? Yeah. Now you got, yeah, you got to give it. By the way, fine acting in that scene. Very fine acting. She seemed to be you know, she was yeah. making it work. Just making it work. Uh, yeah, they 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 start fucking and and then uh, oh, they have an impromptu photo shoot sure, while sure, they're uh, yeah. when they're done. <laughs> um, <laughs> Knock it off! Knock it off! You uh, shit. Uh, so so I like I'd like to, I'd like for her to see the pictures he took because that nigga's not a photographer. <laughs> no, <I'm> no. <not>, yeah. <laughs> she been like, yo, the lit cap is on. My nigga, what are you doing? He's like, oh shit, you right. So. <laughs> The story, the the movie cuts back to uh, the prison. You know, Grace is telling Jasmine the story, and Grace, uh, she stops, and Jasmine's like, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, keep going, keep going." I, like I'm really enjoying this Schadenfreude, and and hard left. And uh, Grace is like, you know, I heard some stuff about you, Jasmine. I heard that whenever you come in, it's only to plead out. So what's the point of me telling you this story if 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 all I'm gonna have to do is is sign a plea? So just give me the damn pen, and I'm gonna sign the plea deal. Wait, and, why you why you mad though? Man, she broke her ass down a little bit. Yeah, yeah she uh, uh, she kind of did, bitch. She kind of did. You she was like. She was like fucking, fucking uh, Piper Chapman over here died in prison. <laughs> uh, Did she? And she was your, and she was your. Uh, I don't, I don't fucking know. Oh, I was like, damn, I, I was really. That's the only her. woman convict I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, well, and she should have um, died. She sucked. Yeah, she did. And um, she was like, she was your client. She died in jail because, because, because you didn't have the strength to to go to trial. So fuck. You. Like, but you admitted <laughs> that you killed this nigga. What you want me to do? Like, how is this my fault? Yeah, maybe don't kill niggas. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, but at the same time, I get um, it. So, quick scene of uh, the Bryant family, I mean, the DeBarge family, um, you know, and they're walking and they're like, oh, Yo, I, just, I feel up. like she's innocent. And he's like, Well, then go be a lawyer then. Yo, pay attention to the dude to the left. Who tried to catch a football? Oh, I missed that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah right in his chest. <laughs> bow, bow. He dropped it. Yeah, you clown. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jasmine goes back to the prison and says, I've never met anybody like you, Grace. Someone who says they're guilty, but I know that you know that you're innocent. So Jasmine asks Grace to finish the story, and she promises to do whatever it takes to help her. And Grace continues the story with her marriage to Shannon. And everything was going incredibly well. You know, they're getting breakfast in bed and surprise photo shoots at work and, <clears throat> and again and all this shit. Did she like, look at any of this nigga's photos? Any uh, of them. Apparently not. Hold on. This nigga ain't got a dark room. <laughs> he don't got no digital he don't got no digital nothing. <laughs> Yo, wait. No, go. knock it off. Oh wait. And this you, guy just carries a camera around. Just, just, a, just a clown. You get to the wedding scene yet? Yeah, they they just passed that. No, no, go back a little bit. Watch how the the sun throws the rice. Everybody in this movie is uh, is is stupid. <laughs> like everybody, for some goddamn reason. Yeah, this movie is not. Uh, this movie's <laughs> not good. Now we're about to <laughs> we're about to get to right back, like, we're about to get to what makes this movie. I mean, you had you got to really sit like a uh, uh, the the a uh, solid ass out. Before this movie kicks it into gear, right? <laughs> and boy, do they. And yes, it does, Hard right? Time. So, so <clears throat> one night, Grace is uh, is awoken to the sound of, of Shannon's voice on the phone. And she goes downstairs. Um, uh, I believe this is the scene where she puts on slippers, goes downstairs, hmm. and then is seen walking downstairs oh, with is. no slippers. Right? <laughs> exactly. Um, because... Fuck continuity. Um, well, I mean, I mean, they probably taped her putting on slippers on a Monday, and then her walking down the stairs on a like, Wednesday. oh shit, we gotta finish the movie. <laughs> so um, she comes, she comes downstairs, and she hears Shannon talking about 
lightning bugs. He was like, did you enjoy the the, the lightning bugs? And <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing his voice over work for Boys to Men. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and and on track eight. <laughs> that, what a weird song that would be. Okay. Did you enjoy the lightning bugs, baby? <laughs> lightning bugs. <laughs> <laughs> And God, um and she and and she's like, who are you talking to? And this nigga, like, he's he's been you know he's been he, his his voice has been kind of like where my pitch is right, maybe a little lower. And all of a sudden, so who are you talking to in the middle of the night? Grace, <laughs> there's two things that are going that are not going to happen. I don't appreciate being questioned. And and what was the other one? He was like, I don't appreciate being questioned and, and, and nobody checking, check, up, checking up, up on me. I don't yeah. appreciate nobody checking up on me, and I don't appreciate being questioned. I mean, in fairness, I also don't like being checked up on. It's annoying. Yeah, you ain't my mother, even though you're fucking thirty years older than me. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. down here trying to do my voiceovers, <laughs> and you interrupted my shit. He was like, I was on True Blood, bitch. Don't, don't, don't disrespect me. <laughs> Beat it, bitch. He's like, I'm bigger than <laughs> Superman, and I'm Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> oh, that's what the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kept, I kept watching. Like, I know this dude's face. Who the fuck is he? Okay. Yep. It's hard to see past the wig. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dubs. <laughs> it's fucking, it's fucking print shades and shit. Then, uh, sh- yeah, Shannon tells him in a sentencing tone that he doesn't like to be questioned or checked up on. Grace tells this to Sarah while at work, and Sarah tells her, look, it's just a man being a man. Don't worry about it. You should have seen him when he was a baby. He acted the same way. I mean, oops, huh? What? Never mind. I gotta go, girl. <laughs> Time not to get fired today. <laughs> Yo, is it necessary that every officer gives her the dirty look as they go by her office? Yeah. Like, you trifling ass bitch. <laughs> So Grace is called into a meeting with the corporate bigwigs who probably aren't wearing any wigs, which is ironic because wigs are prevalent in these movies. Um, And she is told that $379,000 is missing from her accounts. He was like, hey, you dumb bitch. Did you think we wouldn't notice you signed in from your account using your username, your password, your IP address, and you just stole $379,000? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? And she's like, nah, what? what huh? huh? What? Huh? Who? What? Like, not me. And uh, just like, you're fired. You, you get out immediately, and you're going to give us back that money. And she was like, but uh, Mr. Mr. Clyde, I don't know what. Huh? Who did? Huh? What? And uh, so you see Grace. She she is walking out. She does the, the walk of shame when you're fired. Um, they give you a cardboard box and literally (laughs) everything that's at your desk fits in that one fucking box. Um, I'm going to be really upset when that happens to me. (laughs) (laughs) Grace is home with Sarah lamenting over the situation and how she can't get a hold of Shannon. And all of a sudden Shannon comes in and Grace accuses him of cheating. Right. He's like, what you, where, uh, where you at? Where you been at with that other woman? And Shannon has an alibi. He was like, he was like, you know, I, I went to that was my jewelry. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> it's like I went. To, I was down to Pearson Pagoda. I was. I was getting laced. <laughs> I was. I was. I was taking pictures for the Special Olympics at the <laughs> same place that I took you, and I figured you would like them because I did them for you because lightning bugs. Like what? She was like. You making a lot of good ass points, <laughs> girl. So I, girl, so I guess. So here's his alibi, right? He's like, I was taking pictures, and here are the pictures, and see lightning bugs. It's the same place, and um, and and he tells Grace that he uh, says, Grace, I will not be acute. You know what? Fuck this. And and Grace apologizes profusely and tells Shannon that. She was fired, and he has to try and explain the situation, right? So at this point, yo, if you, you have think, to, if you have to wait yeah. to explain that you got fired to your husband after you have to go through a bunch of bullshit, yo, your relationship is trash. Like I got fired should be the number one right. priority thing to talk about. <laughs> so at this point, because that nigga ain't got no job. At this point, if you're a con man and you know that you have not necessarily been found out. But you know that shit is unraveling. That's the time might to go. Be time to go. Yeah, no, yeah. that's the time to go. You got the money. It's yeah. yeah, you got the money. It might be time to roll out. No, but he he need a little yeah. extra. Yeah, maybe all that shit. Grace goes like to the he bank. got a hound's tooth or whatever the fuck around his <laughs> neck. He got to buy two more. 
Yeah, he's got this rare, like, necklace from Africa. Oh, I mean, you know what it reminds me of? Now I think about it, it's like Yours? that. Fuck. And you. You, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a liar. No. Like the sound, like the um, Jermaine Jackson. Oh, my, 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 mine is the lacquer. God damn it. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, it's like, like the side, like the side of Duke Box and shit in the beauty store. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks like you get like an oil slick fell on his head. Come on. Grace goes to the bank and finds out that three hundred seventy-five thousand, a three hundred seventy-five thousand dollar mortgage was taken out on her home. Thinking, wow, she was man. like, "My home has been paid for for over forty years." <laughs> and uh, I think she like, said four years, but okay. I thought she said forty. No. I thought she said forty, and it was passed and down from generation to generation. generation. <laughs> and now I must find out because I thought she said I, no, four yo, years. I think she said. I think she said forty four. years. Yo, she's not that old. <laughs> nah, yo. She paid for the house when nah. she was twenty-two. What nah. the fuck? She, she paid. She that house has been paid for for forty years. Hold on, I we need to know when you can make a payment on your mortgage. Uh, it's 30 it. days behind. What mortgage? My house has been paid for for over four years. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 40 years. And that's how old Grace is. She, and, she's aging like Janet or uh, uh, <clears throat> Diana Ross in The Wiz. Exactly. <laughs> she's 112 <laughs> years old at this point in the movie. Grace thinks someone has stolen her identity. Yeah, um, they have. So Grace uh, goes to investigate a um, uh, a notary. Uh, and then she comes back and and gets uh, the the uh, tr- damn <laughs> damn. <laughs> then she goes back and uh, to the bank to get uh, surveillance uh, information, some <laughs> surveillance video of who came into the bank to take out this mortgage. And lo and behold, uh, it was it was Shannon. Yeah, you see his six foot four ass. Like yo, yeah, right. y- you're pretty easy to spot. Right, with a, with a used eraser <laughs> on top of your head. Like it's it's you, you know yeah, it's not very hard to to find. So she this confronts nigga, yo. He looks like the lead singer of Cameo. Yo, knock it off. Ah, <laughs> she <ow>. confronts. <laughs> Word up, <laughs> Candy. <laughs> she. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he's not wearing that. You know what? You know what? Actually, arguably, maybe he was wearing that cod piece. Hey, uh, bring that lady. Right <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, he is confronted by Grace. Like, yo, I just said, yo, what were you doing? You took out a mortgage on my home, yo. And Shannon and Miss was like, oh, Grace, I needed the money, Grace. Uh, you know, I thought that, you know, because we're married, you know. It's our money. So no, it's not. I just I needed the money. <laughs> and Grace demands the money back. And Shannon says, I can't. It's my money now. I mean, is that how it works? Is it marriage like, all right, let's let's take a case scenario. Can your wives go into, wait, I'm, I'm a guest, so you have three accounts. Joint account, you own two separate ones. I do. Yep. Okay. We have, we have a we have a joint account that we pay all all the bills out of, and then we have what we refer to as fund money accounts. Right. So, is it okay for your wives to go into your fund money account and take some shit if they, if they had to without telling you until after the fact? My wife doesn't have access to my fund money account. Right. Um, she can, but she doesn't. Okay. And she wouldn't anyway. Yeah, she can, but she doesn't. And I'm, I'm like, more likely to go into hers because she always has more in hers. Than you shit. <laughs> was, no, because I I was that Shannon? I, I, yeah, look. We married now. <laughs> I need ashtray that's money. That's all money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all money. That's about to open your shirt up a little bit. Uh, 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 <laughs> let, me, let me just get, let me hit him with a little taco meat real quick. Um, <laughs> no, I, yeah, we don't, no, like money wise, right. yeah, all bills come out of a central account. And then like we, from that central account, it pays out a certain amount of right. money to those joint accounts. Like, cause I'll like, I'll buy lunch or something like that. Right, yeah. I know I've had a, like I've had conversations like in the past, whatever, even even up to recently, that like talking about like accounts, money in the household, like you no, know, that's an important thing. That's, that's a, when you that's get a big thing. We look, look, when you get up. married, yo, you better yeah. figure that shit out, and you better have a, however it works for you. Right. Have that. And, shit for and you. I've heard people say like, well, no, you shouldn't have separate accounts. You should all have in one pot. I'm like, all right, that sounds good. That just to me, even though I'm not married, obviously, it just sounds mm. crazy. To come like you no. Know, 
you have the joint account for the yeah, main I can't shit. Really, I can't have really, your fun money. I can't really justify by you know pulling out five hundred dollars to buy a PlayStation out of exactly. the fun, out of the. Fun you don't want to have that right, conversation, yeah. right? I you really don't. Money, you don't have <laughs> no, but really I don't. need this. You don't this. have no discussions and shit. Oh, yeah. oh I need it. <laughs> yeah, I need it. Yeah, I I, I, yeah. I listen to Dead Pixels. Yeah, you go ahead and explain to your wife how you have to spend sixty dollars on a bunch of bullshit games <laughs> every <laughs> other week. No. Right, like that ain't gonna that ain't gonna fly. Right. And I don't want to hear my wife trying trying to tell me like, no, I need these three hundred dollars shoes. No the fuck you don't yeah. but if it's out of her fun money i don't want yeah, to walk in like yo nice shoes cool fuck it Keep yeah, i know it didn't come out of the regular account mm. now nah, i mean this playstation 5 no. though <laughs> no nah, i mean no nah, you don't that's 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 bad that's that money issues is one way to absolutely destroy your marriage yeah 100 because it becomes a trust issue so grace tells shannon that she wants him out of her house and he's like uh, the marriage license says our house. First of all, marriage licenses don't say that. Deeds Nigga, say that. They like, <laughs> don't have nothing to do with your house. <laughs> right. Has this nigga ever been married? Oh, well, except uh, for like I mean, 400 has, times. Has Tyler Perry ever been married? Uh, <laughs> does he not well, know how wah, that shit works? Wah, wah, He's got a partner. Uh, That's and, uh, and, and Shannon, in return, tells her that he wants an ashtray. And she's just like, huh? Ashtray, bitch! <laughs> like, yo... <laughs> I can't, yo. I died laughing when I heard look, that line. Look, yo, that if he don't win an Oscar for that, I don't even know what we're doing. I mean, doing he needs movies. to win some kind of award. Any kind of award will do, except for Razzie, because those are meant for bad movies. <laughs> that line was a that line made this fucking movie for me. Ashtray. Yeah, that, I mean, that was that was um, Ashtray, bitch. That that was you know. <laughs> I don't know. That was that was stellar. Chris from Three Black Geeks says that uh, that line is the new "bitches leave" from RoboCop. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> Ashtray. Ashtray, bitch. Ashtray. <laughs> he was so. He, Grace called the police. So but the police. Grace called the police, but the police was like, "Nah, yo, this is between y'all. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with this." <laughs> and Grace goes to see a lawyer on Sarah's recommendation, and the lawyer says that his retainer is ten thousand dollars and could take up to two years to get to court. Yeah, right? Wow. One day, Grace comes home to find Shannon blowing the back out of some yo, chick. Right? And that like how he just turns it up to fucking eleven right off the brakes. Like fuck it, she don't she wants me now, so I'm just going to go wild. Yo, and and it's like, and, yo, I mean, like we were talking about Crystal Fox's acting, right? But when she comes up and she finds him uh, uh, on top of some some uh, light skinned chick, I'd right? have beat that nigga with a baseball. She, bat I mean, the the right read, in. the read that she gives of that line, I want you to get your back <laughs> out of my house. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. <Yo. laughs> That's what, that's worth a Razzie. <laughs> that's worth a Razzie. Yo. I like she's like she fucking she revved the shit up. But like I've never heard anyone roll L's before. <laughs> yes! Out of my house. <laughs> that nigga said, yo, get some goddamn locks on the door. Respect my privacy. <laughs> Respect my privacy. And then this this <laughs> this it, what is it what it, and you know, requisite Tyler Perry man butt scene, right? Here you go. Oh, um boy. and yeah, and pubic hair. And pubic hair. Like, all right, yo. That was his man. that was his fucking cameo cod piece. He was like, wow, there it is. <laughs> and that, yo, yo, I love how the chick was like are you you fucking be at your mom's house? He don't even correct her. You know, he's like, yeah, mom's be wild. Right. No, he says because I was like, I couldn't understand what he said. He said, no, nah, my mom's live better than that. <clears throat> that's what that's that is the line that he said. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. He said, my mom's live better than that. Yeah, um, but but here's the thing. She didn't. Catch she on don't him. though. <laughs> your mom live in a bullshit ass house where she don't know the difference between tea or coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh boy! So here we go, right? Um, we we're getting to uh, the point where Tyler Perry thinks that he is making, uh, you know, letting the black woman be strong, right? And she, yeah, the re- the the shitty revenge narrative, right? And um, so when he's done, he walks he walks uh, this chick out, and he sits down and he starts villain monologuing. Right? Hey, you should have joined us. Like, my bad. <laughs> And and he you know he's he's going on and on and on, and at one point he's like, you know, Grace, as far as I'm concerned, you owe me that money, you know. I, go, I, I came I came into your I came into your old ass life <laughs> and made you feel good. 
That's worth about three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. I mean, it's valid. He was like, after waiting seventeen years, I finally put my dick in you. You're welcome. Hey, hey, look, you can't put a price tag on that. And, Apparently, uh, you can exactly three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. And while he's villain monologuing, Grace picks up a bat and bashes his ass, uh, bashes his head in. Yeah, that seems reasonable. She bashes his head in, you know, crime passion or whatever. And she's like, oh, shit, I killed him. And 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 she gets rid of the body. Yo, right? she lugged his, like, 250-pound ass and yeah. threw this nigga down the flight of stairs. That yeah. is not going to happen. happen, yo. <laughs> that ain't happening. That's a big dude, yo. And that's Nigga, rich. I don't think I could drag him <laughs> a lifeless body of a 200-and-something-pound guy. No. I'd yeah. be like, he right here, officer. I'll go to jail. You got it. <laughs> the, the fucking hair saved him, though. Yeah, yeah that, it was that like helmet. a helmet. Right. But what <laughs> fucking helmet did he have? The, the <laughs> sideburns. If you watch the, when she throw him downstairs, he actually breaks his fall. <laughs> like he was just like, <laughs> I don't want to get fucked up. <laughs> I like that. I like that she just had a baseball bat, just quite handy, just in case. Hey, you know, sure. I mean, you never know. She hit that nigga yeah, so you know, criminals. He didn't witnesses. even paying attention. He just over in a smoke filled room, Bow. just chilling. She was like, "Oh, word, word, bow, now, nigga." Now, the first hit, yeah. But the rest of the hits at that angle where she is, you're not putting that type of work in on nobody like that. You got to circle around. Yeah. Also, that's a lot oh, of blood. blood. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo, it's not Kill Bill, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> yeah, he all kinds of hurt. Um, So she throws his body down in the basement, and uh, he breaks his fall, like you said. <laughs> By the way, he would, he would definitely have uh, severe brain damage. But, you know, whatever. And, um... And uh, she starts driving to the middle of nowhere. And in shock, Grace calls Sarah and tells her that she killed Shannon. Now, um, <laughs> yeet. Now, this Wait, is the way out. Uh. <laughs> so, so Jasmine goes to Grace, or goes to Sarah's house and is like, yo, you didn't tell me. Yo, you didn't tell me that you, she called you and said that she killed Shannon. <clears throat> like. I mean, you gave me a key piece of evidence earlier. Why didn't you just tell me that shit too? Why don't I just tell you the plot? And uh, and and she said, Grace, uh, Grace tells Jasmine that Sarah uh, said that she didn't find the body. So Jasmine questions Sarah, and Sarah tells her that she did go to Grace's house, but she saw Grace's son leaving when she was pulling up. You know, trying to throw the throw the 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 the, the throw her off the trail, right? Right. Even though. You put her on the trail by giving her a piece of evidence that links you two together. But all right, what in plain sight? So, yo, I look. I, I'll say it. I, I know other people won't say this. I'm willing to go out. I'm willing to uh, go out on a limb here. Um, I think Tyler Perry has surpassed Jordan Peele as the master of thrillers, <laughs> of social thrillers. Yeah, hey, you stay out on that limb. <laughs> it's just gonna be it's me, Tyler. And all these wigs. Yeah, the bow about to break on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this point. It was at this point where I was like, all right, well, like y'all should have called with me, but all right, fuck y'all. Then. It was at this point where I told, I told my wife, I was like, all right, well, <laughs> somebody's obviously lying, right? And it's obviously Sarah. What if that's his son, their mother and son? Oh, you guessed it already? At this point is when I figured it out. I assume that Cicely Tyson's character killed him, uh-huh. but the way that she was telling the story wasn't. Grace wasn't telling the truth. Right. Like I, she was covering for Cicely Tyson. I, I got y'all beat. I was going way, <laughs> way the fuck off the limb. I was like, okay, wait. What if it's a coagula situation? I, can't, I was like, yo, <laughs> wait. I wait. I like, wait. What if Cicely Tyson is Grace from the future? But somehow, yeah, I'll bullshit you not. I'm like, yo, this movie probably about to be wild as shit. I'm like, she's probably really <laughs> Grace from the future. And like, <laughs> let's try back. And Sarah's holding her eyes. Yo, I, I, I know where the fuck was going. I bullshit you not. That went through my mind for maybe like five I would have watched that movie. Like, hmm. <laughs> Cicely like, Tyson as Grace from the future. That's a, that is utterly ridiculous. Like she's like, when she, especially when she was like, yo, this is not my house. I'm like, oh shit, she's going to see the other house. It's a real house. My God, you're such a crazy person. Ah, oh, boy. Hey, it was like, Midnight nigga shit. Yeah, I get it. Roy confronts Jasmine about the plea deal not being done, and he's like, I know it's not done because I've been shadowing you. What? Why? For why? <laughs> because I wanted you to do it. And I've been shadowing you 
instead of just doing it myself because I really wanted you to to to, to, to plea it out. That's what you do. That's your role here is to plea to plea it out. And he, and he was like, I'm, I'm following you because I can't get a decent cup of coffee in this <laughs> right, fucking exactly. bullshit ass office. <laughs> and he's like, you go, he's like, no, I'll do it myself. He fucking turns into the, the fucking the worst Thanos cosplay ever. And it's just like, you know what? I'll do the plea deal myself. And <laughs> he was like, and then he put the wig on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Jasmine races to the prison to try and convince Grace to go to trial yeah. before Rory gets uh, there. Yo. What kind of bullshit scenario <laughs> is this that the public defender is trying to outrun her boss to like convince her like we only have like it's like twenty four we only have t minus three seconds before oh, he gets his like cha chomp chomp cha chomp chomp cha chomp chomp before he walks in the door you have to let me defend you in court you have to do it please please and, and she's like fine I'll do it and he, he walks in right at the nick of time like so bitch what you gonna do and she's like we're going to court. <laughs> Gotcha, nigga. It's like, <laughs> see it. See it in the third act. Like, Rory, stupid. Rory comes in and uh, Grace tells him that she wants a trial, and um, and uh, they, the two of them walk out. Rory and Jasmine the, walk out. This is the scene I'm talking about. Yeah. Outside of the 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 interrogation room. Yo, this is shot. Okay, I don't know this, but I will bet you one hundred. U.S. American dollars that this scene is a reshoot and that this scene in particular was shot at his studio on like some other set because mm. it does not even look Yo. like it looks so cheap. Yeah, hey, well, I didn't even notice this like shit cheaper than usual. Last night. Cheaper than usual. It looks like a television show. Yeah. Like, did they use a different camera? Yeah, maybe. It's really weird. Rory tells yeah. Jasmine when they get out. He says know. straight up. He says, "When you lose this case, not if. When you lose this case, you will be fired and your career will be ruined." So what happens if she won? Does she still get fired? Oh, no, this is different. There, right? I mean, like, yo, what kind of stipulations are these? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and then they go into the smallest courtroom in in the world. There you go. So <laughs> this courtroom is uh, amazing. They have a brief. So basically, the trial begins, right? Nigga, uh, this uh, is in Tyler Perry's living room. Knock it off. This knock it off. All right, so yo, <laughs> the, the, everything about everything about every set here is <laughs> it's just one big warehouse, and he just really moved everything in. Yo, I think that's yeah. absolutely true because the gallery is. I mean, packed to the brim. You know? Yo, it's it's a three by five room, my nigga. <laughs> like it's it's it, it's comical, yo. It's yo, my comical. shed is barely bigger than. That. <laughs> it's an efficiency. <laughs> right, that's like Mike's right. first, right. first apartment. Yeah, it's first apartment. It's the palatial ground floor uh, apartment <laughs> studios. And um, oh, this trial, trial. <laughs> this trial pisses me off, right? Because it's, again, they did not comb Grace's hair. It's the oh, worst. Like yeah. It's the worst courtroom scene ever. It's just filled with a bunch of courtroom jargon. Like, there's no actual back and forth, yeah. no actual, like, litigating the case. It is objection, overruled, <laughs> sustained, don't make me warn you, move to strike, sustained, don't make me warn you. Like, that's what this trial <laughs> is, you know? uh, Move to strike. Oh, man. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it, it it is terrible, yo. I hate it. Yo, I hate it. Look how yo, small God, this yo, room is. Shit. It's, it's, look at that shit. It's tight as shit. God oh, damn. God. Standing room only. God. They got the nigga f from craft services. They got the cinematographer. They got the eggs nigga yo. from the diner. He there. <laughs> they all there, man. Everybody. Wait, there. I wouldn't be surprised it's if a fire the people code from violation. the diner are there. This is definitely a fire code violation. The, the exit blocked. <laughs> Yo, this is yeah, that's Jared though. Kushner. Yeah, the you back. really do have the exit block. You, you know why they have the exit blocked? So that you don't notice that the fact that courtroom two is on the inside of the courtroom. Wait, what? So you know how they have different rooms, yeah, right? Courtroom one, courtroom two, courtroom three. The sign that, that designates that this is courtroom number two is on the inside where they are. Why would you need that? Why would you need that? You need it on the outside <laughs> so that people don't. God damn it. 
<laughs> you might forget. I hate this movie, yo. This movie is so fucking whack. This is whack, yo. Yo, yo this one lady up against the window. By the way, the baseball bat that she uh, reportedly killed him with, the the lawyer just has it, and they're just laying on the table. It's not wrapped. Well, I yeah, think, yeah, I think I think he said. I think he said. To be fair, I think he said a baseball bat just like this. One. Oh, okay, okay, all right, fair uh, enough. Yeah, there's a lot of other shit that we can fucking yeah, if he's move to strike. <laughs> what? Moon strike this whole goddamn scene. This shit is wild. Yo, but her defense, her defense of Grace is wild. Like, she's a really nice person. Yeah, yo. Like, <laughs> yeah, it like, it's not a defense. Would you do this? No. I mean, Your Honor, hello. <laughs> she said she wouldn't do it. Oh, she's boy. the worst lawyer, yo. Look at, like, literally, look at her. <laughs> this is a nightmare for her. And this could be, uh, yeah. <laughs> yo, the yo, defense on, is yo. so bad. It's so bad. Grace Me- loved her husband, and she didn't cause his disappearance. And but, but like, meanwhile, the prosecutor is like asking real questions. Right? He's like, no, but what about this, that, and the other? And she's like, but Grace uh-huh. don't look like she did it though, because she, she never had a traffic ticket. She bakes cookies. Right. Yeah. Right. All right, yo. All right. <laughs> So, right. so did John Wayne Casey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that nigga was a clown. Murdered a lot of people. Um, yeah, this is the worst courtroom. Yo, scene no, ever. hold on, hold, 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 hold. Because right. there's a part of this that is super wild. She's talking to a blood spatter specialist, a Dexter, if you will. Yeah. Um, she says to him, quote, Well, can can your DNA test determine when blood was left there? Um he said, no, the stains were cleaned up. She says, so is it a possibility that the blood could have been left there over time? And he was like, uh, I suppose, but that's not, she's like, like over several different times to add up to the same amount. And he was like, I mean, yeah, that's highly unlikely. So what's your point that <laughs> they were bringing in blood over time? Like she was just draining little bits of yeah, blood out know. of him, like a fucking vampire, <laughs> yeah, and then just pouring it. What kind of gone girl, like fucking Dick Tracy bullshit is that? The turkey based and shit. Like. Yeah, she was like, I've been storing up all his blood for seven years, and now I'm going to pour it on the floor, and ain't nobody going <laughs> to know the difference. <laughs> Bitch, what are you talking about? Oh man! Like who? Are, like like th- there are scenes in this courtroom of just random people on the stand, random people that know that we have not been introduced to, and and questions being asked that make no sense. That don't pretend. have you used illegal drugs? <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> so you saw her. You saw her. Bring, Sustained. You saw her. Bring <laughs> <the> Destroyed. <church? laughs> <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Move to did, you, did you see him did you see her bring him to church? Yes, I did. Yeah. Objection. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Move to strike. On what grounds? Your Nothing. Honor, don't make me right. warn you again. Did you see him there before? Did you know he was married? Have you been to <laughs> church with him? Yo, she asked that <laughs> yo, she asked that white lady. She asked that white lady a wild ass question. She was like, Did you ever sleep with him? That white woman was like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Objection. What? Yo, this is the worst courtroom scene ever. Yo. No further questions, Wait, your did, honor. He, did he always wear an obscene amount of jewelry? Yes. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> Do you use illegal narcotics? <laughs> Bitch, are you asking me because I'm Latino? God damn. Did you man. find him to be a reasonable young man. Have you slept with him, man? <laughs> was she was like, like what? <laughs> Objection <laughs> sustained. Jasmine wow. wants to call Sarah to the stand, but her colleagues, uh, but her colleagues advise against it. Yeah, and, why is that black woman wearing a hat on the stand, my nigga? Because uh, it's because you can't tell an old black person they can't. Wear yo, a she's not even indoors. old, yo. Yo, she this is like just a young black woman with just like a hat on. Oh. Well, oh, move to strike. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> move to strike on what grounds? Ha! Your Honor, come on. I'm terrible at this. Move to strike on what grounds? It's devastating to my case. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, she wants to call Sarah to the stand, but uh, her colleagues advised against it, and Grace doesn't want her friend to be questioned up there. Um, and she's like, "Look, if you call Sarah up there, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and say that I did that shit. Guilty as fuck." Yeah. And, Much like 50 Cent. 
And uh, <laughs> but Jasmine calls her, you know, she's like, I'm gonna be gentle with her, right? And she was super gentle because Jasmine calls uh, Sarah up to the stand and is like, So, are you Grace's friend? Yes. And Grace wouldn't do nothing like this, would she? No. No further questions, Your Honor. I mean, hello is her best friend. Uh, the defense rests. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Next question, motherfucker. Objection. Leading the witness. Yeah. <laughs> Like I just on, love yeah. that. Like, come on. Uh, that's your friend. Yeah, she's a dope ass person. I would agree. <laughs> Nothing right. further. Courtroom two. Why is that shit on the inside? <laughs> why? Why is it on the inside? Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's literally on the frosted door. All right. That doesn't make sense. All right, yo. All right. Stupid nigga. Think. Think. Take the fucking wig off and think. And wait, why is court officials only on the inside too? <laughs> you know what? Have you, know you seen Grace? I, I, hope he, I hope he sees this, and I hope he has a lot to write to you and tell you how wrong you are and invite you to the Tyler Perry Studios and see as if you could make a movie. You know what? Give me your resources. Cool. I will make a hey, fucking I, movie. Look, I, I have to tell you, watching this movie, I was like, I'm pretty sure we could make a better movie. We could make a better movie, yo. Yeah. We could make a better movie. And he's more talented than us. I just think this is so beneath even him. It is so beneath him. It's just it's just a it's it's, it's, it's mediocre. It's a court officials only. Don't you bring your ass in here when you argue in here? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> hey, why? She literally asks her best friend. She she the the public oh. defender who was defending the, the the her client asks the client's best friend who is on trial for murder, "Have you ever seen my client do anything violent? No. No. Hello, Your Honor. The defense rests. I mean, that's that's how it normally works, right? Everyone who has killed someone has definitely killed someone before it. <laughs> right? That's just how it works. Especially and, crimes of passion. And I rest. He sat on his yeah. nose and shit. And like, <laughs> so she's how you feel like, about that one, white lawyer? <laughs> Generic white lawyer? So she rests her case, and then the lawyer... The white lawyer just... The white lawyer comes up as two goddamn questions. Blew the whole and, case up. <laughs> and Sarah was like, oh, she called me and told me she did that shit. She guilty this <laughs> fuck. so good. You should watch him. He real good. He real good. <laughs> He's mean, as good God. as I was when I was playing a lawyer on another show with a rapist. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I mean, goddamn, yo. Like it, like, it didn't even take him it didn't even take him like like any time, yo. Yo, this nigga is better than my lawyer. <laughs> and she only introduced herself. The, the, the white lawyer is like, yeah, these phone records say, you know, what you say on these phone records? And and Jasmine was like, what phone records? I didn't see no phone records. And objection, your and, honor. I'm really incompetent. <laughs> and, and and the judge is like, all right, everybody, come up here. And and it's like, and then the judge looks down at the script, and then he's like, Yo, all right, so nigga, we, no, 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 we got no, to talk nigga, about he that really shit. did. We nigga, got he to talk really about did. that. So shit. So he's like, what you? Yo, what how you? would Bosley up there fucking up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cunningham is wow. So he's like, the script is really up there. It he's is. He's like, yo, what you what highlighted you, everything? Like these these phone <laughs> records are right highlighted. Like this is what this what you say, <laughs> nigga. How did they let that go? Man? <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> I feel like the, the militants turned startled. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sarcastically, I'm in I'm charge. charge right? <laughs> <laughs> and she and he's like. He's, and he's like the the white lawyer's like yo all the evidence was there you know was there and accounted for I can't help it if if this bitch is incompetent um, <laughs> straight up <laughs> and, under bus and and she was like but no nah, yo I didn't get it until three weeks ago it was like well welcome to the big leagues kid now get back there and fucking chill out while this lawyer fucking just picks apart your client your your witness and um yeah she admits. That uh, Grace told her that she did it, and uh, Sarah's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, Grace. I'm so sorry." And uh, the prosecutor uh, rests his Just case. Up. Okay, now both sides have rested their case, which obviously means I just wanted to take a rest before I started calling my next. <laughs> right, that's what it means. So, so I'm not a lawyer, but I don't, I don't know. I played a lot of lawyer games. So she gets a quick chastising by Rory. He was like, yo, you did the worst thing possible. You got up with your witness and said that your client did it. 
and she was like, well, I was just completely overwhelmed. And I don't know. It was, he, and, and Tyler Perry was like, well, how did you not see it? I saw it. I don't know. Maybe it's a millennial thing. I don't know. Which yeah, is just a cheap fucking we, shot. Uh, yeah. And like, millennials. Yeah, I was like, all right, you know, like, calm down. Is are millennials known for missing it, things in discovery? <laughs> like, like uh, trying to be meta, trying to be funny. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's playing to his crowd. Yeah. Like, oh, young people. Yeah, that was stupid. Like, council, come to my chambers. No, I'm good. Well, we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. <laughs> Uh, real quick, there's a, the 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 DeBarge family, Officer DeBarge and and Lady DeBarge are, are <clears throat> sitting at home, and Officer DeBarge is eating, right? And and Jasmine oh, is, yo, is is like hilarious. Jasmine is not eating, and and Officer DeBarge is like, "Come on, baby, eat, eat, babe, come on, come on." And Jasmine goes, "I don't want it. You're not my father." Yeah, I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, did she just turn into a four year old? I I was like I don't where, 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 I don't like that where attitude. Where did the random daddy yeah. issues come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she's a black woman in a Tyler Perry movie. She's got all the issues, gosh. all of them. I don't want it. Who who I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh my god! I'd be like, I was like, yo, I'm like, girl, if you don't that? eat this fucking ramen noodles, like that Reed was just like, I don't want it. Like, damn the Reed. Who? Why you write that shit? Why is they even a line? Is this a, how? How would you have played this this scene? As well, I'm, I'm playing Shamar DeBarge. Sure, you got the same haircut. Just, just, just go. <laughs> just be like, look. You I just standing there with a fork in your hand, look stupid. Well, I mean, like, look. I mean, like, look. Like, 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 babe, eat your food. You need, come on, you need your strength, babe. Eat, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Ashtray, goddamn it. So he goes and he, he, t- he has a talk. They have a talk or two. <laughs> and he's like, look. You, you 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 run away when the going gets tough, and that's something that you do, and you need to stop it. And she's like, hey, "Yo, fuck you, nigga!" And it's just like, <laughs> "Nah, I'm gonna be completely reasonable, and you are going to be a woman in a Tyler Perry movie." And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Yeah, I mean, he came off as like the light skin, you know, uber reasonable, yeah, quote unquote hero." As, as it were, yeah. Um, in this moment, I I because, thought it was a little shitty and a little shallow of a of a character moment. One because of her response, which was just silly. But I mean, what? But he's like, you should let these people treat you like garbage because you are also garbage. It's basically right. what that whole conversation was, right. which I thought was pretty pretty fucking terrible. I really right. thought he was going to start singing at this point. He should have. I mean, I mean, more interesting. I, mean, I didn't. I didn't find his acting to be particularly that interesting. Um, and by that interesting, I meant bad. Um, but but also at the same time, I just I'm I'm forever bob- bothered by their very tiny dining room table that they were eating at. That just seemed like a side table in a bedroom. Feng <laughs> shui. Yeah, I, just, I couldn't. I couldn't get past it. So during closing arguments, now look, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm married to one, so that means I am uh, 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 the most qualified person here. Um, yeah, that, by the transitive was... properties of the universe, you are a lawyer. Yeah. Yes. So uh, as uh, when you are in in trial, right? Objection. <laughs> Move to strike. <laughs> <laughs> Then when, when both parties have rested their cases, that's it. Next comes closing arguments. Yep. Apparently, the prosecutor knows that, and the prosecutor is like, all right, look, I've shown you uh, m- goo gobs, a mountain, a plethora of evidence that this woman is guilty. And, you know, it's time for you, to do, it's time for you people, the jury, to go to work. And... All of a sudden, it's Jasmine's turn to deliver closing arguments, and Jasmine forgets that she's a lawyer and calls Sarah to the stand, even though she's rested her case already. And yeah, it's the worst lawyer. And and <laughs> like the, I think what they're trying to go for is you know strong, determined, woman, strong, yeah. But it comes off like petulant child. Yeah, it it does. It does not make her look good. It doesn't make her look good at all. It makes her look stupid. It makes her look incompetent. It makes her look dumb. It makes her look like a black woman in a Tyler Perry movie. And it it also makes her look just dumb and and irresponsible and all this is true. But also just wildly out of step in an adult situation. You look juvenile. 
right? Yeah. And I don't understand how do you think that, like, if this is if this is the supposed to be the strong like I refuse to break moment, right. where you're going to get yourself in trouble, but you're you're willing to you know you're willing to to do that for your client. This is not it because right. it just seems like you don't understand what you're doing. And when the judge brings them to the bench and he's like, okay. Like he was he was about to be like, all right, you're a rookie, I get that. On what grounds do you want to reopen this? Right? Like maybe if you had made an art she should have it should have been written that she had good grounds right. to do it. And he'd be like, Okay. But she, but she there. but she didn't. She was just like I forgot to they, ask her something. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's what it was. Right. I, I, re- I rest my case. That, I changed my mind. I mean, my damn, I forgot to. I forget because he pulls him up and it was like, "Yo, what is your problem, yo?" And and she's like, "I forgot to ask Sarah something, so I want to question her again." No, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Like right, and and at first, part of me, a big part of me, was like, "Yo." If Tyler Perry has has written that this judge re that she gets a fucking do over, that's not a thing. I'm gonna turn this fucking movie off right now. Yeah, that's not a thing. Now, luckily, he didn't. Right? right, the judge looked at his script and it said the judge stands his ground. Throw that bitch in jail. Right? Oh, this is gift worthy, right? Yeah. And 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 so <laughs> she goes back and she's like. The judge is like, no, go make your closing arguments. And and she keeps saying, I call Sarah to the stand. And even Sarah was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the judge is like, Sarah, sit your ass down. <laughs> Criminal. Come to my chain. Come both of you come to my chambers. And she's like, I will not come to your chambers until Sarah comes on the stand. <laughs> nah. He's like, if you don't <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, if you don't come to my chambers, I'm gonna hold you into contempt. Nah, I'm oh, good. I got this. Bam! Oh, she was like, "I feel like you, you're throwing a lot of big words at me. I'm gonna take them as disrespect." Yeah, like she didn't know. She didn't know what contempt meant. She was Watch like, your mouth <laughs> and help me with this court case. Be my nigga. Yo, she Yana. becomes she becomes very petulant, yo, and that, that's not. It's that's super not annoying. That's it's, not strength. Just like it wasn't strength in uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman to try to drown the guy. Yeah, like no, you 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 turn your women into brats, and and yeah, that's I not that. that's not strong. That that is quite the opposite. That yeah, is, re- revenge in that regard is. I, I and maybe this is not. Maybe this is a is a sort of a societal. Um, Double standard, but like revenge for men in movies is generally physical revenge, right? Yeah. Like you just take a fucking baseball bat, and like that's why I can identify so much, and I'm sure most people can identify so much with this scene from Moonlight when he fuck as a teenager, he just bashes that kid in the head yeah. with a chair, right? Like that is male revenge generally in films. Women's revenge in films is generally, and you know, maybe maybe Tyler Perry's trying to break that. I I still think he does a poor job here, but it's generally living better or you, you know what i mean it, it's kind of like yeah i'm getting revenge by not being the person that i was before i you know i am living better i'm doing better yeah. where her revenge um shouldn't just be uh, I'm, I'm sad because yeah. tyler perry writes women poorly right. he writes them incredibly poorly he really does man be offended yo uh, the judge finds Jasmine in contempt of court, throws her in jail until she apologizes. Rory meets with Jasmine in jail, told her that, look, the, the life and the law is not fair, but, you know, you're <clears> supposed <throat> to do what you can to, to make it fair, and, and that's your job. So it's going and, there, she's, it fair. and she's like, what do you care? I'm fired anyway. Fuck Coffee, you. Bitch. And and uh, Rory's like, oh, you got all this passion and fire behind bars, huh? Like, like fuck you. I'm going away. And so now the rest of the law firm has to do uh, the closing arguments. The jury finds Grace guilty. Uh, As Grace is being taken away, she notices Sarah wearing the same unique African necklace that Shannon wore. And in jail, Grace starts to put everything together that Shannon and uh, Grace and and Sarah are in cahoots. Mm. Um, And she demands to see her. I need to see my lawyer. Oh, wait, she's right here. Hey, girl. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks, 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 thanks for coming. Shit right <laughs> we in it together. Jordan, uh, Jordan tells Jasmine to apologize to the judge so they can go home. Jasmine tells Jordan to drop her off on the <clears throat> side of the road, conveniently near Sarah's house. Uh, why? I just, I just felt like walking because, 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 because we gotta have her meet Cicely Tyson at some point. 
<laughs> because she can't be smart enough to want to go back to Sarah's house to investigate. No. It just has to happen to be dumb luck. That's grace from the future, I'm telling you. <laughs> so She's just like, this is like altered carbon. I used to be you. Yeah, so so uh, she gets dropped off conveniently near Sarah's house. And Jasmine sees uh, Cicely Tyson walking around the street and escorts her back to the house. And then speaking with Cicely Tyson, Jasmine starts to put the pieces together herself, right? And she determines that Shannon and Sarah are actually working together. So Jasmine investigates Sarah's home. Uh, if I'm flying by this because I'm really sick and tired of this movie. No, that's fair. Jasmine investigates Sarah's home and sees that Sarah has been taking advantage of older women and keeping them chained up in a basement. Yeah, nigga, this was yeah, a, this wild. was a fucking turn. <laughs> I mean, God this damn, was a yeah. fucking turn. But wait, how about, how about um fucking Shamar DeBarge right here doing some fantastic cop work elsewhere? Yo, Shamar Officer nigga, DeBarge, nigga, two times he does this, <laughs> two times. He's got a suspect, right? He's got a suspect, and he's locked. He's got the suspect in handcuffs, bent over the the, the car. Uh, and he gets a he gets a call from dispatch or whatever, right? And he's and dispatch is like, "Yo, you gotta look at your computer. You gotta get all the way in the car, close your doors." So here's the thing, right? Like you said before, nobody knew who the fuck these people were, but then all of a sudden they do, right? And nobody, including in, including her husband, he don't remember being at the house. Like that's why the don't drop me off there doesn't make sense. Like right. just just stop. Because, uh-huh. right. It's convenient that the cop <laughs> yep. wouldn't see the same house that he was at in the beginning when the old woman dropped Convenient jumped some necessity. Off. Right. Exactly. That, like why did you have him like just have him take her home and then she's like I'm going to go out. Why would you have him like no just stop right here cuz I don't want you to see the house. Like that doesn't all just go, narratively all is all narratively is to too convenient. Let me go to the house. Oh shit, I was at this house. You were a baby, boom, and go from there. Now I'll give him some pass for the first time with this handcuff shit. He got he got word. He hopped in his car. He he chirked out. Cool. It was an emergency. Second time, now he so does it in the house. He's just like, nah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> just handcuff her to a table, my nigga. Like, no. what the fuck? Don't move. Stay right there. Yeah. Man, I'm out of here. Um, meanwhile, Shannon captures Jasmine and ties uh ties her up. Uh, Sarah he's comes, in the basement with all these old ladies, uh, blowing their backs out. I thought they were dead the way that she was holding yeah. her, holding her nose, but it's like no, nah, it's just old people stink. It's just a bunch of <laughs> bunch of fucking mothballs and onion subs. And <laughs> and Sarah comes home. Yeah, well, there are a couple of white ones in there, so like uh, wet and, dogs and baloney and wet oh. dogs. <laughs> there you go. That's crazy. Uh, Sarah comes home. They all stink different. And uh, she sees, uh, and she and Shannon gloat in front of Jasmine, right? Like, bitch, we like, told you. you know, Sarah comes in, and then like fucking like the like the master and Sith apprentice, fucking uh, <laughs> Shannon just comes out of the darkness and like, don't you hear my mama talking to you? She was like, oh shit. And um, so is is Sarah the the Palpatine of this? Uh, story? Yes, and and what's his name is Darth Maul. All right, that's fair. That'll work. I mean, his eyes are red from getting <laughs> knocked upside his head with a baseball bat. All his capillaries blown out. Yo, she <laughs> fucked that nigga up with that baseball bat. Yo. <laughs> yo, baseball is a great equalizer. Like, hey, uh, Jordan gets to uh, to Sarah's house, and uh, he's like, "Hey, I need to come in." And Sarah's like, "Do you have a warrant, baby?" No. Well, then I'm afraid you're gonna have to walk your ass up on out of here. <laughs> And uh, and and Officer DeBarge calls uh, his wife's cell phone and hears it, and then he fucking kicks in the door. I look, the floor look, look, you know, right there. Look, yeah, that was not bad. But nah, yo, you a clown. When she was like, Are "You gonna need a warrant," I'd be like, "Bitch, I'm bigger than you," and I'd push right through there. <laughs> I'm a Baltimore City cop. We don't believe in laws. What the fuck out here? <laughs> Knock your little ass down. Knock it off. Yeah, speaking oh, of which, that that fight was ridiculous bow. too. Wow. He, so, kicked the, he kicked that door right he kicked, off the he, head. He kicked yeah. the door off the fucking frame. Yo, yo she hit this nigga with a <laughs> fucking pan, yo. yo. A cast iron skillet. He took yo, it, though. He, he was just like, wow, and 
And <laughs> he took the fucking and no, then yeah. and then when the cast iron <laughs> skillet didn't work, she was like, "Roast this nigga." Bag. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just just a grocery bag full of Utz potato chips, like <laughs> they were stale. It was so light. Ah, but she was like, "Oh Rush shit." It off. Yo, if you can't knock somebody out with a cast iron <laughs> pan, yo, yeah, look, you ain't hitting them with nothing important. <laughs> I was like shooting Superman and then throwing the gun at him. (laughs) But you won't see this one coming. The hand protected him again. So yeah, she ran through the groceries at him. And she sure did. Yeah, so when she hit him with that that pan, I was like, "Well, that's a wrap." So Officer DeBarge, fucking bro, bro, you got me, motherfucker. Officer DeBarge goes into the basement and um, he uh, he finds all the old ladies tra- chained up, and um, but uh, he finds Jasmine, but um, Darth Maul comes out and he starts fucking. Uh, they start fighting, and um, yo, I'm not listening. I'm not losing to a nigga with a brain injury. Yo. Not that I'm. <laughs> <laughs> well, just hit it like do the fucking like the clap wow <laughs> right inside his head. Yo, he he didn't have a fucking heart attack. Well, so here's the thing, right? They start fighting, and uh, Jasmine, uh, the the gun drops right, and Jasmine musters up uh, uh, all the strength it takes to stand up, and she just breaks the chair. Like the chair was so old and rickety, she just breaks the shit. She no, she, she runs just, through. She just ran through the door and yeah, just door blew it out. Yeah, right, ah. and just blew the fucking thing out. You know, like all right. Um, then she picks that's, up the gun. That's strength. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then she picks up the gun and shoots. Uh, and shoots Shannon. Uh, in the chest. Yeah, and, she hit that uh, nigga center of mass like three times. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, uh, you don't want to be a lawyer. Maybe an FBI agent right. is your job. <laughs> I was like, bow, bow, bow. I was like, God damn. So later on, you know, you got the, one bullet hole, though, but, right. the, the police and reporters are on the scene, and one reporter is meant to give exposition to the audience that the mother and son team have been kidnapping old women and collecting their social security checks for 25 years. Now, look. If they're doing this scam that they did to Grace on women for 25 years, Makad Brooks is about 40. Thank you. So they've been doing this shit since he was 15? He's been fucking 70 years old, old, old baby. Old since he was 15 old years old? old? Yeah, so there's actually issues of pedophilia. <laughs> I think that's what we're all saying. I'm knocking the line off them fucking depends. Yeah, come on, yeah. This nigga spent his whole youth <laughs> fucking nothing but a bunch of old women. That's a goddamn shame. You trying to go to party this weekend? Nah, man. I go for me some, fuck me some old bitches. Yeah. I'm yo, lunch at- dinner served at four, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> right, yo, come on. Yo. We gotta God. get to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get to Double T. They got wine after three o'clock. Yo, come on, yo. That's uh, crazy. Back in court, in light of new evidence, the uh, state apologizes to Grace and she is free to go. Leaving the court, a reporter asks Grace if she's glad that the Deal is over to which Grace responds. To which Grace responds, it ain't over. Sarah, aka Betty Mills, is still on the run. And in the epilogue of the film, Sarah is seen being interviewed for a position to take care of a new elderly woman. Um, don't, 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 don't. How'd she get the handcuffs off? Don't, don't. Uh, she's a she's a pro. Yeah, yeah. How is she not known? Like every like like Just why is her face why is her television. face plastered all over the the all over television especially these days social media all that shit right yeah, yeah they'd have found her in like an I mean like you, this isn't a period piece unless a period piece counts as December two thousand nineteen but then again it is Virginia nah yo nah <laughs> Virginia is one of the most uh, one of the richest states in the union <laughs> fuck that they the got the infrastructure. World. To, yeah, to, I, to 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 call out an APB on oh this one. Boy. So there you go. Um, five out of five for me, gentlemen. Look, this this movie Ow. is fucking bad, man. This movie is bad, and once again, it's it's all of the the worst things of a Tyler Perry movie. Uh, that the the <laughs> black large. women black women are writ either, large <laughs> are either evil or stupid or both. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Dark skinned men are the are just just demons. I mean, they're just de- <laughs> they're just demons. Sorry, man. we do what we can. Sorry, and and um and and <laughs> most of but most importantly, like like well, maybe not most importantly, but like on a filmmaking level, like this is this is mediocre, and that's being incredibly kind. Yeah, this I is, think I think that's I think that's accurate. This is not. This is not quality work. Like he gets some weird sense of pride 
by saying that he writes his own stuff and films and shoots it and films it in a week. Like this is nothing. No, this ain't a good. This pride. is nothing to be proud of. Like that is the, the this is the equivalent of you having a project due the next day and you just kind of rush through it. Like this isn't this isn't something that You're not wrong, man. Right, this You're isn't something wrong. that uh, that should be encouraged. And he needs to be ashamed of himself. Like, really, man. He really should be ashamed of himself. That he doesn't care enough about the process of filmmaking. He doesn't care enough about the way black people are represented in movies to want to do a good job. To want to spend two weeks shooting a movie. Like, he doesn't... No one's saying you have to have a three-month shoot, right? But at the same time, take some pride, man. Like, the fact that there are... That that there are blatant continuity errors in these films, and these are continuity errors that people are seeing on their first viewing. Right, like not, normally, not not like the Matrix where you watch it thirteen right. times and you're like, right. oh, like there's normally the if there if your story is mm-hmm. engrossing, people don't notice that stuff. Like every movie has continuity errors, but usually movies are so good that you, you don't, don't notice them or care, or you don't right. care. But no, you have the entire the whole of the internet. Going out and looking for these things right. because they know they're going to find them, right. and it's just sloppy. It's sloppy work from a sloppy director who who should know better. Uh, shame on you, man! No, he just shame. Knows, on he you. just knows his audience is stupid enough to not. Even he doesn't give respect a fuck. his audience. He doesn't respect. He them. doesn't respect you. No, and and that's clear. And I that, would and not I think pay, that's actually probably the the most disheartening actually, part. I don't respect you. Don't be right. surprised. Don't be surprised if you see more Tyler Perry films coming on Netflix. One hundred percent. Because yeah, you sure. don't have to pay for it. You <laughs> don't have to pay for it. And he's getting he's getting really sloppy and getting he's he's always been pretty sloppy. mediocre, but now he's getting sloppy. Well, and also there's and the no there's people, no there's no cost to put right. It in that's theaters. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The only way people will see these things now. Is through services that they already have, streaming services that they already have. Yeah. Because yo, I ain't paying for this. And look, I, I'll tell you right now, with everybody hate watching this, and you know, hello, uh, mm-hmm. you know, not that hate watching is really a thing, right? Like you watch it because you yeah, want to you see watch it. it because you want to see you it. want to see it, right? Whether you dislike it or not. Um, but his movies will be probably even more popular. Yeah, because of how bad. That's they are. the weird thing, man. Yeah. Like. Like this guy is like Tommy was so if he was successful. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's actually not incorrect. I will say this though, mm. and I and I stand I stand by this. Carl Weber is a better director, or Carl Weber stories are better stories. They're be- mm. they're look they're, they're more story. entertaining. They're more engaging stories. They're more entertaining. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna twist like, yo he hits a twist. Go all the way, man. Yo he hits a twist much better. I think. <laughs> like that twist at the end of uh, what was it um. The preacher's son, yeah, oh, shit. yo, yeah. come on, he hit that, he hit that twist perfectly. <laughs> like, and 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 that's the no thing, one right? Saw like, that coming. like these Tyler Perry movies, they don't go, they like, they don't go crazy like that. Yeah, like, you, you gotta, gotta go for it. You if you're gonna go, go for, for it. it, like, go for it. If you're gonna be serious, be serious. Right. If you're gonna go Carl Weber, be Carl Weber. Yeah. But this in between stuff, it doesn't. Right. It's, it doesn't it's, work. In the hands of a better director and some competent ass writers, this actually probably would have been probably fair. It could have worked. It could have worked. Yeah. But it just the ending is so kind of like What? Why? Mm. Why? It doesn't really make sense. There's too many like there's too many moments of you easily trying to guess where it could have gone. Yeah. And even though you may not have gotten it exactly, you came like pretty close. Right? So it's just I don't know. It just seemed weird. Uh yeah, I don't I don't care for this movie. I'll never watch this movie. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. One and done. Yeah, one and done. <laughs> uh so you're welcome. It is uh as of the recording of this is January twentieth. So that's your Tyler Perry movie for the year. We'll see you in twenty twenty one. We're not doing any more of them. No, I don't think we can. I I, I don't think we can. <laughs> I, I really don't. <laughs> I wait I, I, I look forward to whatever he releases next year. And actually <laughs> I bet I bet he actually puts out another one this year. Probably because yeah. of how well this is going to do yep. numbers wise, and the fact that it only took him five days, and I can't imagine t- writing the script took him much more than that. I I would imagine it it took five days to write the script, five days to shoot the movie. 
Five days to edit and it? Five days to edit it. Like, think, he took all of December to create this product. I think you wrote that shit during. <laughs> while he was filming. Yeah. I mean, some scenes feel that way. Go ahead, set up. Why write this fucking scene out? Yeah. I wouldn't be Hey, surprised. Judge, uh, <laughs> here are your lines. You just sit right there. So, yeah, let's say a month. Yeah. That means in three or four months, he could have another one ready to go. Yeah. So, there you go. And look, I and think. look, if he does, we ain't doing it this year. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. No. I can't. No. Um, but I, but I will say this. One thing, you know, all the jokes aside, and we have a good time doing these movies because they're 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 goofy and all that other shit. There is a level of disrespect, I think, towards his audience and black women specifically in these movies. Yeah, man. And I think it is high time that people had a conversation about it amongst themselves in really deciding whether or not you want to support someone who continues to do that. Right. And I, and I think that's important. And I, I'm sure you know his big fans will say no. He's he's just telling stories uh, about black women. But I think there are other stories you can tell about black women that aren't just like stories like Lifetime, where women are just getting beaten and abused all the time. There are more stories to tell. Just like there are more stories to tell about black people than just slavery stories or abuse right. stories. He would never do like a hidden figures. I can't imagine. No, I, I can't because that is a movie that is. One, I mean, there is some discrimination, obviously, to dealing with that story. But, but ultimately, it, it is a movie that is uplifting. C- celebrating. Them. Right. It is celebrating the genius of black women. Right. That's what I would like to see from him. You, something you that never I, get it. Yeah. Because there, there's something deeply dour about his views of black women. And I know he's he always says, oh, he's, he saw his mom being abused. But mm-hmm. why wouldn't you want to make something that shows... People respecting black women. Yeah. Like in that same, you know, under something that same that guise. Make, something that would make your mom feel good. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't have this, but it's good to see other black women having this. I don't understand wallowing in that sort of destruction and, and devastation of black women. I don't understand that. I don't get it. So, um, it bothers me when white directors do it. Um, but I almost, I, I wouldn't say I write it off, but I almost understand because of their ignorance to it. Like they're 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 away from it, right? Yeah, so they yeah, they yeah. don't realize, like they may not realize that they're doing. It. But I don't see any white director like I'm going to keep hitting this button every time, like the same director. But I can understand being ignorant to not understanding what you're doing. Right. He knows, and he continues to do the same thing eleven times, doing the same story over and over again. So to him, he has no excuse. That dude has twenty two movies under his belt. All right, yo, look, it's 2020. By 2022, I am, this is a hard line. By 2022, we have to make a short film. All right. We do. We do. Can I direct it? No, nah, nigga, you going to start. You playing. Yeah, but I want to direct it too. Like, dude, um, fucking um, Dolomite. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. We're going to be on a shoestring budget too. No, get out of here. I see you on the premiere. <laughs> yeah, they going to be no problem. <laughs> <laughs> But no, by 2022, we have to do a short film. I, I'll, I'll make this. I will. I will make this decree. A short film that's at least 30 minutes. All right. All right. Bet. There you go. And it won't be a comedy. It'll be serious. All right. <laughs> that's it for us, guys. Please don't remember that. Now that I say it out loud. Uh, we will see. <laughs> Too we'll, late. Fuck. They are gonna remember, aren't they? All right. We will see you guys next week uh, for another preview episode. See you. Peace. Bye. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.